All right. Well, that notice went up quick. <laughs> yep. All right. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Haven't seen you guys in a long time doing an auction. Uh, Roland Picker here. And uh, this is our Friday auction that I used to do. I took a break for a while. And I had some help from uh, Dia picking up the slack for me. And uh, I just so happened to uh, have this, uh, this auction scheduled. And I'm really excited about it because Cindy, jewelry nurse, was my very first uh, interview. When I started doing interviews on Saturday with Chew and the Fat, with Roland Pigger and Katie Trader. And it was uh, uh, such a success. And I told her, I'd really like to call an auction for you one day. And she said, okay, let's uh, put it together. And that time has come. So I'm really excited because in my eyes, uh, Cindy's kind of a rock star oh, in, the jewelry, in the jewelry community. And uh, it was such a special event when I told Lily about it. She was like, no, no, you've got to, uh, you got to get dressed up. So here, no more happy, happy cap. She gave me the Texas cap. So uh, as far as Lily's concerned, I'm dressed up for the event. Um, I'm glad to see we've got, uh, we've got uh, Mary Pelletier in here. We've got Helen. Debs, Lynn, Sandra, uh, Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. Alice Oxford, uh, you're new to me here. Welcome. Glad to have you here. And uh, I said Debs, uh, Immortal. Dia's here. And so get this. Angie, who is my daughter, if anybody doesn't know by now. And Becky, painting the roses red. Oh, and the family jewels. So welcome, guys. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of the the rules of how of how I uh, how I run it. Um, I've got a list of the items that uh, that uh, Cindy's going to be offering. I have them in the order of the lots and the prices. I will uh, go ahead and read off what the item's going to be, and then I'll do the starting price. And Cindy will show be showing it and talking about it, and let you guys all know the details about it. You know if there's any marks or whether it's sterling or if it's gold or gold toner, you know, the such. And then um, I'll t when I type the start, you can go ahead and start bidding at it any time. Um, unlike Mothership Products auctions, we do these where we allow this reseller to set the starting price that they want. And um, she's got some really good prices here and um, some with a little bit bigger prices, which I'm really excited about because that's the direction that I wanted this uh, to eventually go into. So I'm really excited. Anyway, what she's going to be doing is offering um, it's calculated shipping. So if you win more than one or two items, there will be a combined shipping. She will ship international. She told me soon. She says, yep, international. But guys, understand that we can't control the USPS and the crazy rates that they're charging nowadays. So expect a little bit higher than normal uh, shipping charge coming to you for international locations. And know that uh, Cindy's not responsible for any uh, value-added tax duties or custom fees. All right, so, oh, Francis is here. My cozy nest, Rebecca, Shel, Shelly's here. Okay, Angie, Treasured Vintage. Kathleen Brandt, how's it going? Uh, Geraldine, how's it going? Um, so with that said, um, I think I pretty much covered the basis. Oh, I'll be doing start, uh, going once, going twice. I do fair warning, uh, last call. I don't usually drag it out we kind of move them along fast so everybody can have time for dinner and anything other auctions that are coming on so that they can go ahead and participate in those two if they'd like so that's basically how it goes with me now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn the camera over to cindy uh for any of the people that come in here that are new to me that don't know cindy she let her just uh talk a little bit about herself and then we'll get started with the first item so it's all you, Cindy. Hello, everybody. Um, I think a lot of you in the chat do know me already, but for those of you who don't, I'm Cindy from my, my channel is um, Jewelry Nurse. And I go, I do what most of us do. I do unjarrings and boxes, and I also do a show on um, I do auctions on my channel with Vicki Porter every other Sunday. 
I also do every other Sunday a show with um, Carla from Princess Casserole. We do a top five fave show. So if you haven't caught that, it's a lot of fun. Check that one out. And then I also do a show on Friday nights with Rebecca from My Cozy Nest called Girls Night In. Also a lot of fun. And then I call an auction generally for Rebecca after the show. So a um, lot of good stuff coming up on my cha channel here soon. And I am really excited about doing this auction tonight for Dwayne. I even see my sister in the chat. So um, let me say hello to a few people really quick. First of all, let me say hello, Juan. Um, Glad you are watching. Even if you're not in the chat, I know you're there. Say hi to Rebecca, Angie, my sister Melody, the family Jules, Dia, Francis, Helen, make sure I don't miss anybody, Lynn, um, Hedwig, Cricket. Boy, I see a lot of my friends. And um, your daughter, hello to her. Um, Angie from... Treasured Vintage, let's see, do I miss anybody? Oh, of course, Francis, Kathleen, hi, Kathleen, Mary, Pelletier, Deb. So it looks like the gang is all here. Hope I didn't miss anybody. If I did, I will, um, Deb's Treasures, hope I said hi to you. If I missed you, I will um, talk to you throughout the night. But I'm going to go ahead and move the camera down on my item so it will focus. And um, this is my first item. This is just a little charm bracelet. It's um, gold toned, kind of, sort of has an antique gold finish, and it's just cute. And I think it is. Start at $5. Yeah, it's a sea life theme, and it's starting at $5. And if I remember right, it is seven and a half inches, but let me make sure. Just a cute little modest bracelet. Yeah, seven inches for people who don't like big, huge. Um, like statement pieces it's it's cute so we'll start it at five dollars all right guys so i've got the start price up there five dollars there's a really cute little piece gold tone as she said sea life themed everybody loves shells and starfish is anybody interested in five dollars yeah it's bit? not actually shell uh, made out of shells but it's no um, no i mean but everybody loves the the seashore and uh yeah well, time. I just wanted to, because I'm calling it shells, but they're not actually real shells. They are metal, but. Okay, hey, Dwayne's have... already starting. Dwayne's already starting. She, she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> I'm going to have to put you in time out, Dwayne, if you keep that up. All right. So we have uh, my cozy nest with Rebecca at $5. Anybody want to give me six? Anybody want to go $6 on this bracelet? Seven and a half inches, you said? It's seven inches. It is a smaller bracelet, but it does have, there's no wear on it. There's a little bit of wear on the, the clasp, but you can really easily change that. But the rest of it is in really good um, condition. There's no wear on it. Very pretty. Um, and Iron Man. Thank you, Dwayne. Uh, okay, we've got uh, Rebecca at uh, $5. Anybody want to go 6 Thank you, Angie. That was seven inches. And thank you, Dia, for putting Cindy's uh, channel in there on her YouTube channel. By the way, guys, in the description, there is the email address to contact Cindy if you win to go ahead and send her your information so she can do your shipping calculation. And I've also put the links in there to her um, to her uh, Poshmark closet, her Etsy store, her eBay store, and her um, YouTube channel. Hi, Fun with Girls. Glad to have you here. Um, all right, so we've got we've got Rebecca at five dollars. Anybody want to give me six dollars for this uh, seven inch gold tone seashell bracelet? Hey, Lori, we have Barbara uh, Babsy thirteen sixteen at eight dollars. Thank you, uh, Barbara, for the bid. Eight dollars. Anybody want to go higher than eight? Hey, Lori, glad you could make it. Hey, Francis. Uh, Sign of Moon and Crafts and Creations. I'm sorry I didn't say hello earlier. All right, so we have Barbara, Babsy1316 at $8. Anybody want to go nine? Anybody want to go nine? All right, we're going to go going once to Barbara, Babsy1316 at $8. All right, guys, if you're looking for a cute bracelet, I know most of you, I know all you ladies to be able to rock this, even Dwayne. <laughs> well, it is a kind of small, so you know, if you don't have a tiny wrist, um, 
it might be a, a little too small, but um, it is cute, though, I will say. Very cute. You can start All calling right. it any time, Mike. All righty. So we've got uh, Barbara, Pepsi 1316 at $8 going twice. All right, guys. Fair. I'm going to do fair one last call. Cindy told me to go ahead and sell this. We're not going to hold on and wait. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Your last chance. Make sure you're on live chat if you're bidding because we're going by my chat. All right. Sold. Sold it to Barbara, Babsy 1316 for $8. Thank you, Barbara, for your thanks, bid Beth. and Rebecca. And thank, thank you for your bid. everybody else who bid. Okay, so lot number right. one. Let's go to lot number one. Lot, lot number two coming up says it's a Wallace Silversmith branch jug with branch enamel necklace. A Wallace Silversmith. I've never heard of that before. Yeah, it's the brand name is Wallace Silversmith. Wow, very cool. It is new and it is in the box. It did not have a lid, but when I found it, it was in the box and it's got some nice enameling on it. And let me tell you the dimensions here. It's cute, pinned it. I did add the chain to it because when I found the pendant, I do have one more of these um, in a different shape. When I found it, they did not have chains, but I, so I added the chain. Um, but it's like almost two inches um, by one and not quite one and a half, about one and three eighths inch. And where are we starting this? I think six dollars. Uh, we're starting at six dollars in CC Collections. Hi, Connie. Glad you could make it. She's opened the bid at six dollars. Yes, Dwayne. It looks like it's a dove. Yeah, it's. I think it's a peace dove. I guess you would call it. Um, it's got the the olive the branch olive. in the mouth. Yeah, there. the olive leaf. Thank you, Angie. Two inches by one and three eighths. And how long was the the chain? The chain is. Let's see. Family jewels. We already have a bit of six dollars. If you'd like, we need you to go up to at least seven. Twenty-four well, inches on the yeah. chain. 24 inches, you said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Dwayne said $10. Uh, make sure you guys are on live chat. And if you have to refresh, there is a, a lag. Okay, so Dwayne's in at 10. Anybody want to go 11? All right, we've got De Dwayne Mothership Products at $10. We're going to do going once because it's not often that we get uh, guys bidding men so it must be coming up on a gift or something <laughs> yeah mama's day is coming guys Oops. mama's day and easter and all that good stuff is around the corner i can't even spell going Blake. that's okay we know what you mean yep going one okay we are going once at ten dollars with Dwayne. anybody want to give me 11 on this uh really uh, beautiful that's enamel right enamel necklace really pretty okay it does have heavy enameling on it too it's not mm -hmm. a thin coating of enameling got Dwayne going twice hey Vicki glad you could make it all right you guys Dwayne get ten dollars on this ten dollars on this uh, Wallace silversmith brand piece dove necklace a great gift yes Jerry great for Mother's Day that's right coming up on sunday all right guys that was fair warning last call if you want it now's a chance to get in sold sold to Dwayne for ten dollars thank you Dwayne. Dwayne. thank you cc for your bid and my family jules thank you thank uh, you just CC. Make, sure, make sure you guys are on live chat all right cc we'll see you when you get done all right, item number three. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Juicy Carter. It's a Juicy Carter large heart purse charm, and it's a big one. Large heart purse charm. And, guys, this one starts at $8. That is big. Um, hey, Angie, you need to write down Mama. That's going to Shy Dove. Dwayne wants that sent to Shy Dove. Shy Dove, okay. That is Shy Dove, right? 
Dwayne, my mom? I'm pretty sure it's Shy Dove, yeah. Well, congratulations to Shy Dove, and thank you, Dwayne. That's very nice. All right, guys, so this is a Juicy, I'm just going to say Juicy, a large heart purse charm. It looks, is that pewter? Or? Um, I don't think so, but it is heavy duty. It has the, this is how it attaches to the purse. Oh, like so a you could club. technically use it as a key ring too, but I don't think I'd want all that weight hanging in my ignition. But um, are those or, uh, or something? Those are rhinestones. Yeah, the they're rhinestones. Very pretty yeah, rhinestones. Juicy Couture is a. Um, who makes Juicy Couture? Which one of the? I want to say it's a wrapper brand, but I don't know. Well, I was going to say Juicy, but that would have been a sarcastic answer because I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got a starting bid of $8. Anybody interested at $8 on this? Anybody? Did I tell you guys, by the way, that she's got a jewelry jar at the end? Just a little teaser. Do you want me to say that to the end, Mike? Yeah, I think you should save it for the end. Okay, we can do that. Okay, if nobody's interested, we'll move on. Hey, Tanya, nobody's interested? All right, we're going to put no love. Now, guys, if you happen to come back to this and watch it, or anybody that comes along when this reloads, um, when you see where I put a starting price and you hear what we're talking about, I put no love. If you're interested, just contact Cindy, and I'm sure she will be more than happy to uh, work something out with you. Thanks for coming, Tanya. Um, um, we, all right. We can always reoffer it at the end, too, and if anybody new comes yeah, we'll in. Yeah, we'll give them one more shot. Um, this guy's is a J. Crew bracelet, and the start is six dollars, right? Yes. Yeah, six dollars on this. It's got the J. Crew um, C ring or spring ring, I mean, which these always kind of look like a life preserver to me. Yeah, and they it do. Has the J. Crew tag, and let me see how many inches. I think I wrote that down. It's eight inches on this one. Okay. Uh, Jerry is in at $6. Thank you, Jerry. All right. Anybody want to give me seven for this J. Crew bracelet? Um, so is that an agate or uh, at the end there? No. The um, no. They're just um, acrylic and metal. So acrylic. Acrylic yeah. and metal. All right, so we have six dollars. Is that opening bid? Jer Jer Jerry Redine, or as she told me, I could call her Jerry. Bid six dollars. Anybody want to go seven? Anybody want to give me seven on this really cool bracelet? Eight inches. They are. I know we're moving acrylic, but they are acrylic. I know we're moving fast, guys, and we're we're moving fast because one, I learned that from Barb because she hates to wait around. Two. I want to make sure that Cindy's not too late for her show tonight. Oh, I'm so not that. doing the show tonight, so I'm good. Oh, you're not? No. Oh, you're good? Yep, okay, then we'll good. I got all the time in the world and oh, uh, well, we'll we'll slow more it. items if we need to. All right. Well, I'll, we'll slow it down a little bit, and we'll see at the end if everybody's uh, wanting to hang in there. All right. So we've got going once to Jerry for $6. Anybody want to give me $7 for this J. Crew bracelet? A nice piece guys really pretty i like the the mixture of colors is really nice we have uh, my cozy nest rebecca and it's seven does anybody want to go eight we have uh, my cozy nest rebecca at seven we have jared is back at eight anybody want to go nine so we have jerry at eight oh while i'm thinking about it um we're we're, I'm, we're not having the show tonight because I didn't want to be rushed with the auction, but we are um, having it tomorrow at around one um, okay, cool. Eastern time, which I guess is noon um, Central Standard Time. And mm -hmm. I think and it will be on Rebecca's channel. All right. So it's going to be on tomorrow on Rebecca's channel. Yeah. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon, and that's 10 Pacific. Yeah. All right. So we had uh, Jerry came in at 8. Cozy Nest, 
Becca came in at nine. Jerry's at ten. Anybody want to go eleven? Um, is there a way to post a schedule of upcoming auctions on different channels and times, please? Um, I think we can work something out uh, to where we can set, fix something, a, a page or something to where you'll know. Um, I'm sure the community, we can come up with something like that. That would be helpful in so many ways. For it yeah, I think that. Then there would be less stepping on each other, too, if we yeah. knew. Yeah, that would be great. Our, about mountain time. I don't know what mountain time is, Dwayne. Would that be uh, like a, a 12? That's whenever oh, they you feel like it time. All right. So uh, we've got Jerry at 10. Rebecca's out. I'm going to do Jerry going once at $10 on this crew. Anybody want to go 11? We're going to go Jerry going twice. Does anybody want to give? This is uh, last call. Fair warning. All right, guys. This is your last chance. Sold to Jerry for $10. Thank you, Jerry. And how in the world did I lose my marker and I didn't even move? So, Jaredine at 10, you said? Was it yeah. 9 or 10? You know, uh, it's at 10. Okay. You know, you do have the jar, and Angie hates it when I go out of... Uh, Whack. I didn't see that the jar was on lot five. Yeah, I'm gonna um, put. I'm gonna. We're gonna skip to item six, and we'll do the jar later. Then. Is that okay, Angie? We're gonna move because Angie's writing down all this information. We're moving to number six first. Next, Angie, we're skipping the jar and making it last. Is that okay with you? Hey, Peaches. She says that's fine. And thank you, Jerry and uh, Rebecca, for your bids. So number six is a Chico's eight by three quarter. Bracelet with large sky blue uh, prong set glass rhinestones. Um, my notes here say not only is it gorgeous, but uh, for vintage, it's uh, been selling on eBay for about 48 bucks. So the opening price on this, guys, is $20. Seven? So oh, yeah. If, uh, so if you're a, a reseller, there's still some meat on the bone there, plenty. And don't forget about Posh, Poshmark. Or Etsy. Things usually go for a little higher there. And with a starting price is twenty dollars. Chico's. That's a very pretty piece. Is that this is uh, probably one so of the best Chico pieces I've ever seen, actually. And that's silver tone, correct? Yeah. It's kind of a brushed oh. silver, it's not shiny. And a magnetic clasp. That's cool. I like that. And it is a pretty blue. Yeah, this um, I've had for years. This didn't come from Look a how deep blue that. Anyway. Look how deep blue that is, you guys. And we have for you two in V jewelry too, if I said that right. Good afternoon. Welcome. And peaches. All right, we have glass uh, rhinestones. Those are glass rhinestones? Yes. And we have Rebecca at 20. Anybody want to go higher than $20? That's just a pretty piece to be wearing, period. I really like that blue. That is a really nice deep blue. Eight and three, so it's eight inch. And well, the rhinestones you're saying are three quarter inch. Yeah. Okay, so that's a pretty nice size bracelet. All right, so we have uh, my cozy nest with Rebecca. At 20, you know, ladies, I'm not going to give you all, and guys, I'm not going to give you much time to think about it, though. Oh, Francis got in 21 before I went going once. So we have Francis at $21. Thank you for the bid, Francis. And Rebecca, anybody want to go higher than 21? Can I get 22 for this beautiful bracelet? That would be so nice to be wearing out and about in town. I'll tell you what that, guys, but you know what I'm going to say, what that could go with, good with. A Harley Davidson T-shirt and some black leather pants. Yes, it that would. would that would be going good with that. We've got Rebecca at twenty-two, Francis in at twenty-three. They Anybody do want to go have a, a mirrored finish? I don't know if you can see that, but the rhinestones kind of have a mirrored finish. Oh yeah, I can see that. So we have uh, Rebecca at twenty-five. Rebecca must have a Harley top and black leather pants because she knows she can sport that. 
Well, I'm sure Francis can too, because Francis just came back at 26. So I'm assuming both ladies have Harley Davidson t-shirts and black leather pants, and they're ready to go out on a night on a town. So we have Francis at 26. Anybody want to go higher than 26 on this uh, Chico's uh, bracelet? Tell Hubs we said hi, Dia. All right, we have Francis at uh, twenty-six dollars. Going once. Anybody want to give me twenty-seven? Anybody want to give me twenty-seven? Is this the only two ladies that have Harley Davidson shirts and black leather pants? Can't be. My cozy nest comes back at twenty-seven. So we have Rebecca at twenty-seven. We're going to do going once on Rebecca at twenty-seven. All right. Anybody want to give me 28? Mark Francis says she's out. So I'm going to go ahead and do going twice. Rebecca, my cozy nest with Rebecca at $27. Fair warning, last call, guys. If you got that Harley shirt and black pants, you might want to think about this. Don't take too long. Fair warning, last call. All right. Sold to my cozy nest with Rebecca. For twenty-seven dollars, thank you, Rebecca, and thank you, Francis, for your bids. I am so glad you got that, Rebecca. So she does have a Harley shirt and black leather pants. Yep, she probably does. It would not surprise me. Right on, right on. That is so. We cool. loved that bracelet as soon as I showed it. So yeah. Well, we've got uh, another. Great piece. We've got another beautiful piece coming up. Um, I believe this is the one that I put in the uh, preview. This is lot number seven. It's a sterling silver turquoise pendant, 18 inches, with stainless steel twisted serpentine chain. No, sterling silver. Did I write stainless? Sterling silver. silver. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I got it. Uh, I got it all mixed up. It's sterling silver. And guys, the starting price is $30. And I'm going to tell you the, uh, you can get a close up of that stone. That is a beautiful piece of paper. Get it to focus. Hold on, it will here. Take it a second, but there that is go. a very beautiful stone. I love the mate black matrix in there. Nice uh, sterling silver twisted serpentine chain, eighteen inches. You know what that would go good with? That would look good with a Harley Davidson top and black leather. Black leather pants. <laughs> I've already got ink all over my hands. <laughs> That's I very love pretty. This, uh, it kind of make, maker's mark on it by any chance? It does. It is marked here, and there is a mark on the chain too. And of course, it's been tested. I can't read what the mark is though. I think this is an artisan-made piece. Very cool. I don't All right, guys, this is a tested. Mass produce. Um, yes, I believe it's 18-inch chain. And, it, and it's tested, guys. So you know Cindy. She tests all of her stuff. So the piece is silver as well as the chain. We have Francis in at $30. Francis is going to sport it with that Harley Davidson. This shirt. is more of a green, too. It's more on the, the – it's a darker color of turquoise. It's more on the green side. Oh, hey, Helen says she's got the leather pants and the Harley shirt if anybody wants to borrow them. All right, so we have Francis at $30. I wish I knew more about the turquoise to tell you exactly, you know, like where it might have come from and all. Yeah, there. I don't. I couldn't tell you where it came from. I'm familiar with a couple of the mines, but I can't really look at them and tell you. The only one I recognize right away is the lime green and where it came from. Very pretty piece, guys. So we have Francis at thirty dollars. Anybody want to go higher than thirty? All right, we're going to do going once, going once to Francis for thirty dollars. So sterling silver turquoise pendant, guys, eighteen inch sterling silver twisted serpentine chain at eighteen inches, and it has been tested. Both pieces are sterling silver. Now, boy, I really focus in there. It's really per pretty. Dwayne, you know where it came from, the ground. Okay. Thank you, Dwayne. All right. Well, we've got Francis at $30.
and do going twice. Fair warning, last call. I'm going to give you guys on this, okay? Because the bids only got one that came in. Francis is going to get a beautiful piece here. Very beautiful piece of turquoise. Yeah, I'm perfectly all right with Francis getting it for that price. Yeah, this is an awesome steal at this price. Somebody call the cops because <laughs> this piece is getting stole. All right. Sold to Francis for $30. Thank you, Francis, for the bid, and congratulations. A beautiful Thank piece. you, Francis, and thank you, Rebecca, for that last one, if I forgot to say that. Thank you a lot for that. I appreciate it. So what do we get, number eight? Okay, number eight is a sterling yin and yang. Actually, with you know, there's a typo on this one. This one should have said um, on the price, um, yeah, this one should have said ten dollars and not fifteen. All right, Angie, you want to adjust the price on your sheet, please? Uh, yeah. From fifteen to ten on number eight. That was a typo. So starting price is ten on this, guys. It's a yin yang pendant on a leather cord. Is it yeah. got a maker's mark on it? It doesn't have a maker's mark, but it does have a ten on there, and. This almost looks like um, how they pour cloisonne, but I don't. It does have a um, a silver line going down the middle, so it's more like kind of like cloisonne. I believe it's glass and more than it cool. is enameling. And these beads here, I don't think these are sterling, but this is. And these beads here, to me, look like they could possibly be. If you can look down in the middle, um, whoever buys it when you get it. Um, look like they could possibly be black coral. They may be, be just like glass or ceramic, but they really look like possibly coral to me when I look at them under the, the loop. Then it has a hook, and this is leather cording. So it's the back of the pendant you said is silver or the yeah, little line? Yeah, the of this is sterling. Okay. So the pendant itself, guys, is sterling. Not so sure about the beads. And think that the black or the and the black might be coral. It's yeah, on a leather cord. Coral. Um, and the starting price is ten. Is anybody interested in this for ten? That's a very pretty piece. Yeah, it is pretty cool looking. Kind of that hippie type. Yeah. You know what that would look good with? A tie dye. Yes. Blue it jeans. Tie dye shirt. Would say a Harley again. Uh -huh. See, I I know more than just Harley. <laughs> I grew up during the hippie. I grew up during the hippie era. All right. So anybody want to give me ten dollars for this really cool hip piece? Anybody want to give me ten? We have Jennifer Layton. Thank you, Jennifer. Open bid with ten dollars. She must have a uh, she must have a tie dye shirt and blue jeans. Yeah, the hippies. We were cool back then. Anybody want to go higher than ten dollars? Anybody want to give me eleven? This is obviously it's been tested too. Yes, and it has been tested. Uh, D is right. You're right, D. They are coming back in style. This uh, the yin yang on uh, uh, all the hippie type style beading and everything is is making a comeback. So, and it's always funny like that, isn't it? You know the way things. We never think that they'll last when we were young, and now they're coming back. And you know when we're older. So we had the market on it though. So we have Jennifer at $10 going once. Oh, you saw two girls in uh, Walmart wearing a yin yang. Actually, isn't that really like the Pisces symbol? That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, it's very close to a Pisces symbol. Hip Mike, the hippie with a Fu Manchu beard. Yep, that's right, brother. All right, so we have Jennifer at $10. On this piece and guys did uh we tell you that it has been tested that bottom the pendant part on the back is silver and the part that's in between the uh yin and the yang we have jennifer at ten dollars going twice the 80s are coming back with neon colors jennifer says you know what i believe it because it's all over the place it's everywhere that's and that's cool i dug the 80s i preferred the 60s and early 70s but I dug the 80s. They were cool. All right, guys. Last call. Fair warning. This nice, beautiful piece. Ding Yang on leather cord. Jennifer at $10. Last call. 
All right. Sold. Sold to Jennifer. Uh, I want to get the last name right. Layton, is that right? Did I say it right, Jennifer? I believe you did. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you for the bid, Jennifer. And Cindy, thank you for bringing back the good times of being a hippie. <laughs> I'm still a hippie. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Oh, this next piece. Now, guys, this uh, uh, this is really cool. And um, I think I put this in the preview. This is lot number nine. It's a 12-piece natural stone lot. Okay? So you're getting 12 pieces, all natural stone. I'll get the start price up there. And then I'll let Cindy talk about each piece. It's starting bid is $50 on 12 pieces. That's not bad for 12 all natural stone nowadays. Okay, I'm going to lay them all out so you can see everything. And then I'll tell you what I know about each piece. Very pretty so far. Uh, Dia, while you're doing that, Dia says the yin, the dark swirl, is associated with shadows, femininity, and the thought of a wave. The yang, the light swirl, represents brightness, passion, and growth via Google. Well, we can't doubt Google. Google knows everything. That's interesting. I just had thought it had something to do with twins, like opposing twins. But uh, thank you, Dia. Lynn, you have a yin yang silver pendant. Cool. All right, guys. Like I said, this is a 12 piece natural stone lot. That is a lot of stuff there. Ooh, something's got a price tag on it. Yeah. Jennifer is a Gemini. Gemini. Okay, so this is a really gorgeous agate of some kind, and I don't really know. I didn't have time to research it, so I'm not really sure what this, oops, sorry, guys, what kind of agate this is. Any uh, of you uh, jewelry see, ladies in here might have an idea? It's actually browns and yellows. It looks a little um, green on my screen right now, but it's actually browns and yellows, and it is gorgeous. And then it has... Um, here and here, and then it also has crystals. The reds are crystals on this, and it has the lobster claw. This is a pretty good size pendant, as you can see next to this big ring I always wear. It's a pretty good size pendant, and it has a pair of matching earrings. The earrings kind of match, uh, same kind of stone as whatever that cool. is. Okay. And um, so that's the first two pieces. And there's this um, turquoise. It's just small chips of turquoise, but it is like little chips of turquoise on there. And I think that is an eight. Let me check and make sure. I agree, Lynn. Very, uh, very nice pieces. No, and seven, yeah, yeah. a seven. And then this little stretchy with the malachite beads, which would be good for um, if you craft or rework. Um, these are malachite, and it's a really pretty color of malachite. It's that nice Very pretty green. green. Yes. And these is kind of um, a lace agate, and kind of various kinds of agates in there. It's got a little bit of everything in it as far as well, I think mostly it's all the same kind. They're just um, different parts. <laughs> it's Very pretty. Beautiful. Banded, actually, that's what I'm trying to say. Not lace, but banded agates. And this is, let's see, how many inches is this? This is 10, so 20 inch here on that. And then I think this may be honey, um, I could be wrong, but honey carnelian on this one. And Great. these beads vary all the way from like a really clear, as you can see, to almost a solid, to a solid there. 
And then this is one of my favorites here. This is beautiful pieces of Unikite. You can see, let me get it to focus so you can see how pretty these are. Very pretty. Now that it's not, that that is more of a brown and yellow there too. Um, you can see the colors in that are just gorgeous. And then I'm not sure on this one what this is, if this is jade or what this stone is, but it is a gemstone. It's um, And it's a gorgeous green color. Now, is, there, is there another stone? Is there another stone that's like jade, but it's got a different name? Um, I think nephrite, maybe. Or I mean, is there jade? And then I thought I heard the word jade light. Like or jade, jade light, or something, yeah, or, or something like so that. I'm not really sure what this stone is, but it is a gorgeous color. And then I have these earrings, which I think are. Um, Petrified wood, but I don't know for sure. They've got, um, you can almost see the wood grain in them, but I wouldn't say yeah. that for sure. There's possible it could be mahogany jasper, but it looks sort of like petrified wood to me. And then I have this, um, which I think is a J. Crew, even though the J. Crew tag is missing. Um, but this is the dyed halite. And then this is a different brand. And you know what? There's one more. Where did I put it? Actually, I'm missing one of the necklaces. I'm supposed to go in this lot. It's over there. I'm going to have to go grab it. And then this is just a stretchy. This was actually new. And this little stretchy sand shack sold for $12.99 just for that. And it's not the same brand, but it actually but it goes looks well with it. Very close. And then this. Yeah, I'm at. Uh, one bracelet has that life preserver type. Yeah, uh, that's why I think it's J. Crew. I mean, I could be wrong, but that really looks like a J. Crew um, spring ring to me. And then um, this, and there's one more. Let me go grab it that I missed. That's pretty. Is we that have Vicky. Vicky Porter opened a bid at fifty dollars. So guys, you obviously see something in here because you know Vicky knows. Vicky knows her stuff. Uh, yeah, it's interesting how that bracelet isn't made by the same uh, yeah, kind of company, odd. but it looks it looks like it belongs. A lot of pretty stones in here, guys. A lot of beautiful stuff. Oh, the one with the little stone. Yeah, that okay. I'd like to get a better look at that one, too. This yeah. is the other one that um, I forgot. Now, this has amber pieces, some pretty good chunks of amber in it. And these oh, red wow. pieces, I believe, are um, fossilized coral, but I don't know for sure. But it pretty much looks like it if you look at it with a... Um, if you look at it with a loop, that's what it looks like. So that's got amber chips in it and possibly fossilized coral. Pretty. Good color combination. Yeah. Um, can we can we see the one with the little stones uh, up a little this bit one? closer? Yeah, a that is bit of everything in it. Oh my, look at that. It's even got it's got some red coral, it's got some sodalite, it's got some lapis. It's got some goldstone. Got a little bit of everything in it. So that's a 12-piece tw lot, and some have earrings. Actually, 13. Or, yeah. Oh, you got a baker's yeah. dozen. Well, I forgot to put this in. Somehow, when I was typing it up, it uh, I missed it. But okay. these are amber here. And that does have some inclusions in some of these. There is some insects in some of them. So if nobody's Ooh, interested, cool. I will move on. No, Vicky bid fifty dollars. Oh, so okay. I want to see if anybody wants to give me. Uh, you know what? This thing is worthy of like. Does anybody want to go? Let's do fifty-two. Anybody want to give fifty-two dollars, guys? So this? you're talking like here at fifty, like um, like five dollars of 
I just think five dollars. Well, yeah, it's five. Yeah. Well, thirteen at Baker's does. Well, before you put the thirteenth one in there, it would be like four dollars and some change. Yeah. Yeah. So you that, that would put you at forty-eight. There. Yeah. So thirteen. That's um, at fifty dollars. That's that's still four dollars and twenty-five cents or something like that. Or four, no, four, like four ten or four fifteen. It's not bad, guys. All right, we've got uh, Biggie Porter fifty dollars. We're gonna do going once on this twelve piece slot. We have Jaredine, Jerry, in at fifty two dollars. Anybody want to go fifty four? We have Jerry at uh, fifty two dollars. Anyone want to go? 50, give me fifty four dollars for this. We've got Jerry at fifty two, looking for fifty four. Good, still a lot of meat on the bones. If you're not reselling and you're collecting, there's some fine, fine pieces here to wear going out, especially the uh, that blue and silver one. Uncanny that the bracelet matches that. Uh, yeah, that kind of weird, huh? Yeah, it's really well, weird. Well, they go together, and I believe they're two different brands, and I got them at two different times, too. Uh, Dwayne says at fifty dollars, that's three dollars and eighty-four cents a piece. Thank you, Dwayne. Yeah. I never was good at math. So we have Jerry at fifty-two dollars. Anybody want to give me fifty-four? Fifty-four dollars. We had Jerry at fifty-two dollars going once, looking for fifty-four dollars. Anybody want to go fifty-four dollars on this? Anybody want to go fifty-three? I think it's worth going two-dollar increments on this. Very beautiful pieces. Don't forget the new one she just added that has the amber with inclusions in it. Uh, that's pretty special. And possibly that fossilized coral. Very nice. Yeah, All right. I'm about 99% certain it is fossilized coral when you look at it with the loop. It we have Jerry. All the hallmarkings that you need to see. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, maybe right there. I don't know if that'll work or not. Let me see if I can get I it. Can't oh, that's really. my finger. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. I can't yeah. coordinate everything in the right direction there. But, yeah, it is. Um, I'm pretty certain it is fossilized coral. You can go ahead and start calling it. All right. We've got Jerry at $52 going twice. This is my favorite right, piece here. That is very pretty. I wish I knew what that stone was. Yeah, I'm going to have to look it up. I'm not sure what this agate is, but it is gorgeous brown. I wish it looked on the screen how it actually looks, the color. I'm seeing it brown. Is, almost, it's like a chocolate brown. Yep. All right, guys. Fair warning, last call. This is your last chance. $52, like Dwayne says, that's roughly $384 a piece. You've got one with a price tag. That sold for twelve dollars, so you're still saving money there. This is the last call. Fair warning. All right, sold to Jerry for fifty-two dollars. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. And thank you, Vicky, for the bid. Okay. Ooh. Lot number ten, guys. This is a really cool piece. Um, it's a it's another Chico. It's a three tier necklace, so it goes from 19 to 23 to 28 inches. Okay. So we've got she's got lot 10 is a Chico, three tier necklace, 19, 23, and 28 inches. Very pretty. I've showed most of these on my channel prior to, so y'all probably got close-ups of everything there. And the start on this, guys, is $10. That, get it straightened out there. This does have a Chico's tag. And this is in really good condition, and it is it's heavy these are not like little tiny skinny pieces they are nice heavy base metal it's got some good shine to it and let me see if i can get it on the mannequin for you hold on so you can get a better look at it how it hangs uh -huh. 
Howdy, land shark picker. Welcome to the auction. You know, ladies, what would look this would look really good on Harley Davidson shirt and black leather pants. <laughs> So we're getting it on a mannequin. Starting price, guys, is ten dollars. Jump in there anytime you want. While Cindy's showing it, ah, don't do that to me now. There we go. All right. Okay. Very nice. Well, that lays very nice. Yeah, it's a little crooked the way I've got it hanging, but it doesn't actually lay crooked when you put it on. But um, these things kind of go every, um, are alternating directions there. And if nobody's interested, we will move on. Um, Anybody interested at $10? Uh, hey, uh, Texas Valor. Glad you could make it. And yeah. is that Adenia? And yeah, Valerie, I I right, Knox. yeah, Valerie, Valerie validated me. We are Harley owners, and everything looks good. Harley T-shirt, thank you. All right, guys, no love for this. Ten dollars for this um, Chico three-tier necklace. All right, guys, I'm going to be typing no love. We'll give it a couple of seconds. Okay, we will move on. We will move on. No love. Just remember, if you come back and you decide you want it, just look for wherever we put the starting price and the, the no love and contact Cindy, and I'm sure she'll she'll uh, be willing to uh, get you a beautiful well, piece of jewelry. Everything, too, that doesn't sell. Let's see. All right, we got lot 11 is the Swarovski bracelet. We have a Swarovski bracelet. And this is a Seven. feminine little Swarovski bracelet. And Seven and a half inches. Let me show you the um, tag here. has the little Swarovski swan right there. Upside down, but you can see that, it. That is the mark. And it is $12. Three inches, um, seven, seven and a half inch. inch bracelet. And this does have the spring ring. Thrifty Treasures, Tanya in at $12. That's a very good starting price on a Swarovski. It's really feminine little bracelet. It's it's um, and in very good condition. Vicky Porter at $13. Anybody want to give me $14? Can I get $14 for this? We have Tanya. Thrifty Treasures at $15. Anybody want to give me $16? $16 on this. We have Tanya at $15. Anybody want to give me $16? Beautiful little, that was like multicolored stone. Yeah. Crystals, like it blue, also blue has purple. like, um, if you can see there, it has an extender where you can take that piece out too if you have a smaller wrist and cool. make it smaller. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. All right. So we have Tanya, thrifty treasures of $15. We're going to do going once. You know, guys, it's a beautiful piece. Tanya, this would look good with you rocking one of your caps that you wear in your videos <laughs> when you're out with the flowers. Of course, it would be even better with the Harley Davidson shirt and black leather pants. Harley hat. Yeah. For a minute. I'm sorry, guys. I'm stuck on the Harley <laughs> stuff. I'm old. I can do that. So we have Tanya. It was going once at $15. Anybody want to give me $16? We have Tanya. At fifteen dollars, going twice. You know, guys, you don't want to snooze and lose. You know how it is around here. You're gonna let Tanya sweep in here and snatch this up. All right, we're gonna do fair warning. Last call on the Swarovski crystal neck uh, bracelet, seven and a half inches. It is signed piece. Last warning. Fair call. All that good stuff. Sold. Sold to Tanya. Thrifty Treasures for 
fifteen dollars. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Tanya. Appreciate it. And uh, Vicky, thank you guys for the bids. Thank you, Miss Vicky. All right. Oh, guys, you're gonna love this. Lot twelve. Four, Fourteen pairs of pierced earrings, all well made, according to my notes. Fifteen or uh, fourteen pairs of fit. Yeah, fourteen pairs, and the starting price is fifteen dollars on this, guys. Oh my. That's not a bad price. I'm going to lay them all out here and then I'll show them to you one pair at a time. I'm going to lay them all out in pairs. Um, first. Hey, so never more antiques. Welcome, John. Just a little over a dollar, like a dollar and dollar two a pair, something like that. No, more than that. A little over a dollar a pair. And uh, y'all know I always throw in extra stuff, so I'm sure by the time you get them, there'll be many more pieces of pairs of earrings thrown in here. So, uh, Land Shark, that's Craig, right? Craig, he says uh, he can't bid. He needs clip-ons. Clip-ons? <laughs> I, you know, I guess. Maybe he's going to sport them with the Harley Davidson shirt and black leather pants. Okay. I'll keep that in mind with the clip ons next time. Sorry. CC's to... back. Glad to have you back. CC. All right, guys. The starting price on this is $15 for 14 pairs of earrings. She's laying them all out right now. Ooh, nice. I like anything with that turquoise beading and like the red coral beading. Yeah, those are um, actually yeah, acrylic beads, but they do yeah. look like that. I mean, they even if it's Southwest look, yeah. Yeah, even if it's imitation, that Southwest look is coming back. Well, actually, it's trending along with uh, the native, true native. Man, Tanya hasn't even seen them all yet. She's in at $15. Thank you, Tanya, for that opening bid of $15. We're going to get a look at all these guys. That's not a bad price. For 14 pairs of earrings, whether you wear the earrings or, uh, yourself or you sell them on Posh or eBay, there's going to be a lot of meat left on this. Okay, most of these are more there. statement size earrings, but I'll go through them one pair at a time here. So first I have these, which are new. These are Impression brand, Impressions brand. Pretty. Brand new. Dreamweaver Art and Finds, thank you for the bid of $16. Uh, this says it actually has an address on the back and says guaranteed not to irritate your skin or break under normal use conditions. Okay, so that's the first pair. Then I have these like southwest looking earrings here. These are Pretty. hooks. Have any of these been tested for silver? No, I haven't tested any of these. I don't have any of these. I don't think any of these are silver. Um, there's one pair, I guess, that has potential, but I didn't didn't really test it. Um, these are awesome here. Oh, I like those. These are so cool. Very pretty. That's the very, back. Very pretty. These have got that really good. They look like, um, I don't think they're gold plated, but they have that look of the, the color is like, it looks like a 14 karat color. So the plating is really good on here, whatever it is. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very shiny. And then I have these cool little hoops. Hippie hoops. Oops. Yep, hippie hoops. And... Um, then next, these. Oh, pretty. And these are heavier, too. These are not, like, really thin. They're heavier. Well, I mean, they're not, like, they're, yeah, they're well-made. Right? It's, yeah, it's okay. sturdy, well-made. They're not, um, really thin, cheap metal. And this is some, um, what do you call this? Uh, chandelier. That's what I'm trying to think of. Then a chandelier, chandelier style. And these are all glass on here, like glass rhinestones. And then these are just cute. These, I guess, are wire wrap. 
And these have the old fashioned um, kidney style hooks on them. Mm -hmm. No, no, they don't. Never mind. I take that back. Um, Vicky Porter's asking stainless steel. Um, which one? I guess she's asking if the, the hoops or whatever are stainless steel. Um, these might be. It's possible these could be right here, Vicky. I don't know for sure, though. Well, I never typed in start. I got so intrigued looking at the, at the <laughs> it, yeah. So I'm doing. I'm. I'm not going to type it in, guys. We just have uh, Dream. Uh, let me go back up here. Dream Weaver Art and Finds is at sixteen dollars. So I mean, I just got so intrigued looking at all these earrings. These are enameled. Deb says the others are Brighton. Which ones? Which one, Debs? Hey, Patsy Crafty. Hey, Patricia. Yeah, Dwayne's right. It's not, it's hard not to get transfixed, right, Mike? I can't help it, man. It's pretty stuff. Which ones, uh, Debs, do you think are Brighton? Those silver ones up at the top? These? Or are the other ones? Maybe? Or maybe the other ones. You said the heavy. These? The heavy ones? No, no. The ones with the swirly cues? See them up by the this enamel pair? Right here? No. Oh, she's nope, talking about the heart? I don't know if it's the heart. I would have yeah, thought. I, she, mm -hmm. I think those are uh, glass. In back. Too. She said in, in back. I don't know in back where. Yeah, I don't see a Brighton mark on them. Guess it's possible. I don't see a Brighton mark though. These are glass beads on these though. Even the bigger one is a glass bead. It's not acrylic. And then these. She said. She said by the enamel pair up at the top. Oh, the enamel pair. Yeah. You no, know, no. Go. Keep going. Keep going these? toward. Okay. Those. I think those. Okay. That's you know what that's very possible now that you say that they do um, they do remind me of they're not marked Brighton but they do remind me of the Brighton style and they do look like they could be plated I've not tested them but you may be right about these being Brighton you Usually say Brighton, on even though it's of, plated test positive because it's got such a heavy plating and I'll test them here in a second after I show the last couple of pairs then no. these kind of vintage weaved these are like white powder coating and they're kind of a vintage weave like three-quarter hoop gail a that bit if that's a bit of 10 you're going to have to go higher than 16. i never typed in start because i was watching the looking at all the pretty stuff and dreamweaver arts i think it is arts and crafts has the bit at 16. so make sure you're refreshed and you're on live chat and we're just waiting to get through the rest of the uh, is that mother of pearl. Yes. Well, it might be um, abalone. Ab abalone. These are gorgeous, though. I love these. Very pretty. And I will test this real quick while the bidding's going on to see if this does test positive. There's a possibility it may be an unmarked Brighton. Because um, even though Brighton, like I said, is. Um, just okay, guys. Plated. It's so heavy plated that it usually tests positive. We have Dreamweaver at sixteen dollars. Dreamweaver Art and Finds at sixteen. Does anybody want to give me seventeen dollars for fourteen pairs of earrings? Where's my cutting balls? All right. Anybody want to give me seventeen dollars? Got anybody going to go seventeen? Because while she's checking that out, I'm going to at least get it going once in there for Dreamweaver. Deb says, "Please do not scratch them." Yeah, I'm not. I'm being very careful, and I'm going on the back. Uh, Mary shipping is calculated shipping, so it's actual shipping. Um, and if uh, one of the mods could put 
um, Cindy's uh, email address in there. When you win something, it would be uh, you send her your uh, shipping information and your address and all that, name and everything. And uh, she will uh, give you calculated actual shipping costs. And she is shipping international. Of course, it's at a higher rate because of the USPS. Like, we can't help those those people. They're greedy. Uh, my cozy nest with Rebecca's in at 17. Anybody want to give me 18? Still a good deal, guys. Yeah, it um, doesn't seem to be, but I can't really get enough on there to test it because I don't want to put a scratch in them. But um, I'm, I'm thinking, no, this other set here. Uh, Gail, I think you might be watching something else. I can't take a $10 bid. The price is 17 I don't know if uh, – I don't know – what you're watching or if you're not fresh. Yes, it's for all of them. This is a lot of 14 pairs of earrings. Yes, uh, Mary, it's for all of them. And the bid is uh, My Cozy Nest with Rebecca at 17. Yeah, Gail, refresh. Refresh the uh, video. Make sure the little down at the bottom, the butt where it says live, that it's a red dot. And then make sure you're in live chat, not top chat. Mary's in at eighteen dollars. Mary Harris at eighteen. And the only reason we didn't check further on the ones we thought were bright is we didn't want to scratch them. Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think they are. It does look like they're style, but it, but they they are reminiscent of a yeah. something I just recently sold in. I, I wouldn't have taken a chance of scratching them too. Yeah, I don't want to scratch out. them, and no. I don't. I can't. Yeah, they're not. My cozy uh, nets. Rebecca's in at nineteen. Anybody want to give me twenty dollars for these? Fourteen. That's a total of fourteen pairs of pierced earrings. At uh, okay, we have Mary Harris at twenty. And Anybody want to give me twenty-one? Surprise pairs, as I always do, guys. Oh, you heard that, guys. She always throws in some extra bonuses. Whoever buys so them, just let me know if you prefer post-pierced clip-ons or what you like. Yep, just let her know, guys, what you like, posts, clips, or the wire hoops or whatever. My Crazy Nest, oh, with, uh, my crazy nest with Rebecca, we're 22. Mary Harris is back at 24. Um, Rebecca, you want to give 25 for those? These are hey, uh, my favorite for you too, and enjoy. You're welcome. We have my coziness, Rebecca. Yeah, those are beautiful. They're very shiny at 25. Yeah, these have a very good finish on them. Like Cindy said, guys, it's 14 pairs plus bonuses. So you know you're going to always get something cool with Cindy. She always has her A game ready. Mary Harris at 26. Anybody want to give me 27? When we get if we get up to 30 guys, it's going to be two dollar increments. I'm going to tell oh, I you. Think show these little these are wacky oh, these enameled uh looking yeah these are enameled i think i forgot to show them those are vintage aren't they yeah yeah these are definitely vintage we have rebecca my cozy nest at 27 we have mary harris at 28 anybody want to give me 30 just take it straight to 30 dollars and be done with it okay we've got my cozy nest rebecca says i'll do that 30 well, let's see what we got going on here. We've got Rebecca at $30. Anybody want to give $32? Let me give $32 for these. We've got Mary Harris at $32. Anybody want to give me $34? $34. That's 14 pairs plus some extras. You know you're going to be surprised. She's not going to show you what the extras are. We have Mary Harris at $32. $32. We're going to do going once at $32. Anybody want to give me $34? We have my cozy nest Rebecca at $34. Anybody want to give me $36? $36. Well worth it, guys. Whether you're uh, going to wear them or resell them, there is still some meat here for resellers. So this is not just a collector's uh, lot. This is also a reseller's lot, guys. Anybody want to give me $36? We've got my cozy nest Rebecca at $34. Looking for $36. Mary Harris came in at $36. Anybody want to go $38? We have um, Mary Harris at 38. Rebecca, my cozy nest says she's out. So we're going to do going once to Mary Harris at $36. Thank you for those bids, Rebecca. All 
right, we've got Mary Harris going twice at $36. Anybody want to give me 38? This is your last chance, guys. Last chance, fair warning. Get $38 for these uh, 14 pairs of earrings, plus there's going to be some bonuses. Fair warning, last call. Mary Harris at uh, $36 is sold. Sold to Mary Harris. Ready. Six dollars. Thank you, Mary and Rebecca, for the bids. It was cool watching them bid up against each other. I like that when they, you know, somebody wants the same thing and they. Did. It's just so cool. Congratulations, Mary, and thank you for the bids. Thank you, Rebecca, for the bids. Yeah, Mary, just email me and let me know what um, style of earrings you prefer. I do have a lot of good um, clip-ons some vintage ones and screw backs and post and whatever you like. Um, just let me know and I'll add a few extra pairs to that. You might not see the chat there, Mary. She says her zip is 73110, but uh, guys, just it's best to go ahead and email her through the, unless you bought from her before and she has her information, then uh, you know how it'll, how, it'll, how it'll be going. Now, guys, this here, lot 13, this is a 14K bracelet. And then it says seven Hallmark, Italy, 14 karat. Is that seven inch Hallmark? Yeah, it's, is that what it is? Let's see, I think I wrote it on the list. Um, yeah, it's on the list, yeah, seven inch, yep. Okay, so let's see. Seven inch, 14K, Italia, Italy. It's marked Italy. And the care and the, the weight is 1.75 grams. That's it has cool. a hallmark right here, and it looks like it's an LLJME 3 or something like that. Let me see if I can get it to. It is a smaller bracelet, it is a delicate bracelet. Right Hello, there, Kelly. Welcome. Mark. And then I love Italian it says. Italy on this side. So it is Italian gold. Oh, why am I going uh, the wrong way? There we go. Uh, I, love that. I love Italian gold. Okay. Let me see if I can get it to focus without it. On one side, it says Italian gold or Italian. And on the other side, it says 14K. And of course, I got it to focus last night on that. Let me see if I can get it to focus now. Hey, Carla. Welcome, Prince Castro. All right, guys, starting price on this is $25. 14K, seven inch bracelet, marked Italy. And the total weight in grams is 1.75 grams. Very pretty bracelet. Yes, Kelly, seven inches. Seven inch okay. bracelet. Try something else. Hi, Jameson's Closet. Welcome. Okay, right there is the Italy right there, I believe. Is that the Italy sign? I caught yeah, it. Yeah, that side there. says Italy. We have Sandra at $25. That side says Italy. And this side is the 14K. Right there, it says 14K. See, guys, uh, and you know that, um, you know, Cindy's tested this. Yeah, I don't say I won't sell it and say it's silver or gold unless I have tested it. Now, everybody makes errors. So if I ever do, um, please let me know and I will totally make it right. All right. So we have Sandra at $25. Thank you for that opening bid, Sandra. Um, I think anybody, you know what? It's gold, guys. Anybody want to give me $30? Yeah, the gold weight is, is above the 25 so you're getting a good deal, and I'm okay to get yeah. Sandra at that price. If nobody else is interested, that's perfectly fine. All right. Anybody want to give me $30 for this? We're going to have Sandra at $25 going once. 14-karat gold Italian bracelet. 
seven inches one and three quarter grams or 1.75 grams all right going once to sandra for 25 dollars anybody want to give me 30 dollars for this 30 dollars can i get 30. uh you missed uh oh, wait rings and brooches you missed um uh, Kelly, what she missed? She missed. I do necklace. have some brooches and the earrings coming up in the end. I have a couple of brooches. You missed a lot of necklaces and a lot of earrings. But she's got that. She does have some more stuff coming up. So we have Kelly in at thirty dollars. Anybody want to give me thirty-five? We have Sandra at thirty-five. Anybody want to give me forty? We have Sandra at thirty-five dollars. Going once. Anybody want to give me 40? Just want to show you that it does. I'm going to put it up here so you can see that it does. It is twisted the whole way. It's just how it's laying there that it looks like its twist is wrong, but it does naturally twist. Hello, Tracy. Welcome. All right, guys. We've got uh, Sandra at $35 going twice. Anybody want to give me 40? I mean, at the, there's still a lot of room on this, even at 40. It's well worth, well worth the price, guys. All right, we've got Sandra going twice at $35. Anybody want to give 40? Anybody want to give 37? Because we are going to be doing fair warning, the last call, and this is going to go. Kelly says she's out. All right, fair warning, last call, guys. Sandra at $35. Sold. Sold to Sandra. $35. Congratulations, and thank you also for the bids, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Sandra. And, yes, Tracy, that was a uh, nice video you did today. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, what do I have next? I think. Okay, next is a Sissy yes. Yates 34, uh, it says 34 something coin. 34 inch. Has, well, this has the foot symbol, so I wanted to make sure. Yeah, sorry. Uh, coin pearl and faceted glass bead with new wit tag. Sale price is $60. The opening bid on this, guys, is $25. Got this, the price tag on it. That's going to be a good reseller. I've never heard of Sissy Yates. I'm being honest. I think most of her, um, she does have a website, and I think most of her stuff is hand crafted. Uh -huh. um, I mean, it is a, an actual brand. I mean, professional brand, as you can see from the tag. And this particular necklace was had a sale price on it of sixty dollars or fifty eight basically, but um, yeah, that was the sale pretty. price. It's got some nice uh, be coin pearls on it. Kelly's saying glass beads. Yeah, these are glass and they are faceted really cool. Let me see if I can get that to focus and show you how these are faceted on the tip. Is kind of cool. They're a gorgeous baby blue color. Move my lighting here. There we go. It is, um, has never been worn though. So brand new, never worn, Sissy Yates, 34 inch necklace. All right. We had the starting bit at 25. Is there any love for this at $25, guys? It's got one, two, three, four, five, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of the um, coin pearls. And these, I think I measured last night, or they're fairly large coin pearls there. Um, Those are kind of big. Yeah. They're about 15 millimeter and they vary a little bit in size like that one's 15 and some of them are just a tad bigger. But um, yeah, they vary in size 15 to 16 milliliter. If nobody's interested, we'll move on. No, I don't have you in detention there, Kelly. If you want to bid, go ahead. Everybody's welcome to bid in these auctions. 
and that is a very nice price for coin pearl with the glass bead and it's a nice color combination on the gold tone so there was some thought she put some thought into this when she made it all right guys you know the story if there's no love i type no love and then later on you can come back yeah, coin pearls are, are, are real, aren't they? I'm yes, they are real. Them all over the place, yeah. They've got a they lot have, of really great luster in them. That yeah, have. they have coin pearls, potato pearls. They've got, not all pearls are round, Kelly. Yes, I did. Oh, that's right. I Yes, you did say that, Kelly. Yeah, so, okay, we've got Kelly in at $25. Anybody want to go 26 on this? We've got Kelly at $25. All right, we've got him going once at $25. Uh, oh, we're gonna see that against the black. This is 34 inches length, guys, total. Man, that's a long chain. Oh, look at that against the black, that looks, now you can see that blue. I like that blue against there. Yeah, the blue. Is gorgeous. And those are faceted, aren't they? Um, yes, these um, blue beads oops, are faceted, and they're kind of uniquely faceted. Um, let me see if I can get. Yeah, I didn't know they were faceted until the light hit it right. Yeah, the beads are. And I saw the little facets on it. Faceted, trying to bunch it up here so you can see how the um, how they lay. Okay, we've got. Yeah, Flip and Mama, that's Kelly, you guys. We got her at $25, going twice. Anybody want to give me $27? Comes yeah. to a really unique point on the facet, which was what I was trying to show, but I can't get it to focus on that. It's kind of getting washed out by the light a little bit. It's like yeah, there's yeah. a little bit of white. Light. Because uh, I want you to be able to show what you want before... It's a baby, uh, we've got, baby blue color, too. And Mary says it matches your nail polish. It sure does. Yep, kind of does. So my nail polish is a mess right now. I always beat it up between washing my hands so much as a nurse. My, they're dry out. Bangs All right, guys. We've got Kelly at Flippin' Mama at $25. That was going twice. We're going to do last call, fair warning. Beautiful piece, brand new, never been worn. Sold, sold to Hip Flip and Mama Kelly for twenty five dollars. Oh, she says you can throw that nice ring in you're wearing as a gift. <laughs> I don't think so. I think there's a lot of people try to get that ring off your finger, haven't they? Yeah, quite a few people want that ring. If I ever put it up for auction, I will let you all know, but I knew it yeah. was like make, putting it on make, my finger the first time because once I wear something, forget it. I fall in love with it. Okay, I if you, Becca's if, weight if, on this one. If you do, though, make sure I get noticed that you're putting it I on. I will me. definitely let you know. Okay, we've got a, a Zara. Did I say that right? Zara statement necklace. Yeah, that's close enough. Zara. Ooh. Um, nice, cool. This is the statement necklace of all statement necklaces. And I was actually kind of surprised when I Googled their stuff. Just a modest pair of statement earrings were selling for like 25. And you've got a state you got a uh, you've got a, a a statement price on this of ten dollars. Yeah, this is the um, statement ten. necklaces of all oh, statement dear. necklaces for sure. It looks like uh, something Queen Elizabeth would have worn. It does. Look at the yeah, glitter it in that. And it's a beautiful burgundy color stone. And this is the confetti. And they're oh, actually really box set. I'm going to show you all of it. And then I'll, and then these big, beautiful glass. All of these pieces, I think. We have uh, Jennifer Lighton in a 10, Vicki Porter in a 15. Beautiful statement piece. Yeah, it's a, the one of the like most elaborate statement pieces I think I've ever gotten. Well, next to this one. <laughs> this one is probably the most elaborate. This one I got to show you all that I've ever gotten. All right, guys, we're going on a field trip. This is Tasha brand here. Check this thing out. 
Oh my God! I ain't never yeah, seen anything like, like that. that Is that not like the statement necklace of all statement necklaces? You gotta have a neck as thick as Mr. T. Yep. And these, this actually is uh, got some stone in it too. But yeah, that's just crazy, and it's actually. Pesto. But we're bidding on the uh, we're bidding on the other one, right? Yeah, this is the one we're bidding on. I just had okay. to show you though that. <laughs> okay, because we had. Uh, Vicky at 14, uh, 15. Uh, Kelly came in at 17. Rebecca, Vicky's back in at 20. Let me let I don't know if Rebecca's know. still here. She wanted to bid on it. Sandra's saying, Sandra's saying mercy. I'm pretty sure that was on the last one, right, Sandra? I mean, that you could swing that around and, and knock somebody's head off with that thing. I really yeah, like that. Pretty you serious that necklace. You call that a confetti in those, that one, those stones? Yeah, this is like a confetti stone there. It's very pretty. It's kind of a blues, sort of. Let's see, I messed with my lighting. I had it set for a certain, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you need to bring the piece down further or the camera up there. There you go. Oh, so you my. See the blues? Almost, almost gives it a druzy look. Yeah, kind of. It's like glitter and, uh, yeah. They call them confetti. Um, Kelly would like to know how long. It is. Let's see. Did I not write that on there? Let me see if I wrote it on my thing. If not, I'll I, measure it. It's not on mine. Okay. Then I'll measure it. And while we're looking for that, we're going to do Vicky Porter going once at $20. Um, so that's from so the back of the bill. Like, Looks like about 16 inches on the neck part and then the drop from the top all the way down is 12 from the neck down. Wow. But the chain part of it here is 16 inches. Let me put it on the manic, the neck here and see, give you a look of what it would look like wearing it. That is definitely for like a, an evening out. Like yeah, this is like opera. Crazy. Like you go into the opera or something like that. That's what you would wear that piece with. Hold on. Let me let Rebecca know. She will die if I don't tell her um, this necklace came up. We're going to go ahead and give Rebecca a chance to get in here. Yeah, Thank you, Angie. 16 inches. Wanting this necklace. Rebecca, the necklace you wanted is up for bid now. So Kelly, that's too too short for you, for you. It does have a um, like two and a half maybe inch extender. Oh, it, it, it could go eighteen inches then. Yeah, let me see what this is. So there's an extension on on there, uh, Kelly. And you can always add another extender too. I mean, this one is. Yes, Lynn, cool with jeans. Exactly a two and, two and three quarters inch extender on it. Two yeah. and three quarter extender, Jennifer. Almost. Uh, Rebecca, Rebecca's coming at twenty two dollars. She she got your message. Yeah, I knew she'd hurt me if I sold this without her being here. So we have Rebecca at twenty two dollars. Anybody want to give me? Uh, okay, we've got Kelly at twenty three. Anybody want to give me twenty five? Twenty five dollars for this beautiful statement piece. That's oh, just gorgeous, and I'm really digging that confetti. Call that yeah, call those that are kind of cool. Um, and all the rhinestones are there too. Yep, everything is here. Nothing's missing. All right, we've got my cozy uh, nest with Rebecca at twenty-five. Anybody want to give me twenty-seven? Uh, we've got okay, uh, Kelly. We'll take twenty-six. Uh, Vicky's out. Thank you, uh, Tracy. Yes, Jen. Beautiful. I mean, I've. I've sold some statement pieces, but nothing this, nothing this gorgeous. And I'm really not a jewelry aficionado or whatever they call it. I just know I like the big pieces, and that is just beautiful, especially that red, the red stone in the center. Yeah, that that is a um, like a deep burgundy red kind of color there. All um, right, we've got uh, the back at twenty seven. Here is kind of accurate. Back at twenty seven, Kelly says she's out. Going once. All right. We've got Rebecca at $27 on this beautiful statement piece. 
these are kind of a gold color rhinestone here, kind of like that um, J. Crew bracelet I sold a few weeks ago. Got uh, Rebecca at 27 going twice. Man, guys, this is a great, great bargain on this statement necklace. This, I mean, I've seen some statement necklaces, but this. Yeah, this one's <laughs> like, <laughs> could you imagine what yeah. something like this? I mean, if Queen Elizabeth wore this, it would be all gold and and real and real and gems. Movies, it would be yeah, like real gems. What it would cost? Millions of dollars. Yeah, reminded me of kind of like Victorian royalty kind of thing. All right, guys. Fair warning. Last call. It's going to be going to Rebecca for twenty-seven dollars. Sold. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm glad you got it. And thank you, Kelly, for the bid. And thank you, Kelly. Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm happy we were able to halt it too. Thank you. All right. So we got a Monet coming up. Two necklaces and dangle earring gunmetal. Oh my gosh. You know, I still have that uh, black or gunmetal. Oh yeah. Necklace. Oh, I have. I'm. I'm so afraid to get rid of it. What I'm was so this? Twenty six. Um, this is number. No, uh, the even, price right? was twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Right. Yeah, that gunmetal one that you uh, that black or that black one. I'm so afraid to sell it. I love it so much. And it's not often you see Monet in gunmetal or black. Yeah, this is probably only the uh, three pieces here and the other ones that you bought. So that's all I've come across. Yeah, and, and that's why I'm hanging on to it because I've not run across any more other than these right here. Okay, so this is the first piece. And the start, guys, on this is fifteen dollars for all three pieces. It's a lot. All three pieces, lot sixteen. God, what a good one! Tag, right there. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you. Yeah, gunmetal Monet is very unusual, and it's not very often that you see it. You mostly see gold and silver. Starting price is fifteen, guys, and this is. This is uh, two necklaces and a set of earrings. I mean, is that not stunning in gunmetal? We have Kelly at dollar. Long that is. Well, let me show you the rest, and then I'll tell you the sizes. Um, I'll put this on the dummy after I show it to you. Okay, where is the hook? There it is. Okay, it's, it is glass rhinestones in this piece. Um, but it's kind of a like a tea style. We've got, uh, don't get this at 16. And then, what, uh, I'm not understanding the uh, code words there, Rebecca. What's that? What the, is that like what the hell, what the width or what? I don't know. Oh, yeah. What the, I, or that's Dwayne. Dwayne saying at first. Is that because of the gunmetal, Dwayne? Because I know you hate jewelry. Let me take these off the card that I got them taped to so you can see them. You, you know, that uh, that other necklace with the stones in it that looks black reminds me of the one that I, I bought from you a while back. Yes, this one, it, yeah, this it is pretty similar to that other one. That yeah, this yeah, is, but, but um, mine, the, the beading was a little tighter. But yes, it is an open back and it is glass rhinestones. It's not, um, they're not acrylic and it, it is definitely the quality you're used to from Monet and it has a hook as opposed to a, which I prefer a hook cause it's so much easier to, and then it has, it does have an extender. It has a little Monet tag right there. And then it also says Monet, I believe, now, well, maybe not. I thought it said Monet on the back of this, but I don't see it now. Let me see if I did. Yeah, let's, uh, we've got to get some focus on that. These people need to see what this really looks like because the, uh, I don't even see much of the black Monet being sold on Poshmark. So that's obviously. And then I'll get it on a dummy. I mean, these earrings. 
Okay, these have these little round style hooks, if you can see. And those are marked Monet? Yes, these are marked Monet, right there. Okay, focus, please. Trying to focus on everything in the back. Let me get that out of the way. Oh, there you go. Right there. Yeah, I can see the writing. There you go. It is backwards, but it is marked Monet right there. Mm -hmm. And these are the um, little glass rhinestones in here, too. Very pretty. I like that. Uh, Kelly really wants feminine. to know how long is each chain? Um, this chain here is. And we have, so get this, it's $16, guys. You know, this isn't even in my Monet book. You know what? The no, black is not. I'm not surprised. It's um, not in my Monet book at I all. The Monet book, I believe Angie said she stopped at 1970 or something on that book. Mm -hmm. So it's 16 from the right here from the T to there is 16. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, 16, and then it has an additional two, a little over two, maybe two and a quarter inch extender, and then it has the drop here is about two and three so, inches. So with the extender, it's about 18, 18 inches, Kelly. Yeah, with the, with the extender. And the other one, let's see, did I write that other one? I thought I wrote that one on there, but let me go ahead and measure it, and I'll put them on the board so you can see them all better, guys. Um, yeah, with about a two-inch extender, Angie, exactly. So that's about an 18-inch 18 18-inch 18 necklace. So um, 36 inches on this other one. So this, this one is 36 inches. Uh, uh, Treasure Vintage Angie says the book went through the 80s, I yeah. think, but not as represented. So we had Flip and Mama came in at 17. Sorry, Vicky. On my screen, she came above you. Then we've got so get this at 18, Kelly at 19. So how big did you did you measure this one? How big is this? This one That's is 36. Chain. This chain is 36. And this 36. is not a super heavy chain. It's um, whatever metal it is is a is a lighter metal. I don't believe it's aluminum. It doesn't look or feel like aluminum, but it's a very lightweight metal. So I have no idea so, what kind of metal it is. So Angie, if you're saying that the book only went through the eighties, not in new pieces, not many pieces represented. What what where would you guess these pieces would be at with the being in the gunmetal or the black? Because like I say, I've never seen I never saw it until the first one I saw that that Cindy had that I was fortunate enough Dang to it. buy. I was very fortunate enough to buy. And uh, and I've still got it. I'm, I've not done anything with it. Mothership Products is at 25. So that's not bad, guys. And uh, so get this is out. This we got the earrings and the two necklaces. Very cool. Uh, Vicky Porter says 20. Which one do you want? The long chain? We got uh, hit, uh, Kelly at 26. So anybody want to go higher than 26? Tracy says, Dwayne, are you okay? Because we know Dwayne hates hates uh, hates uh, jewelry. And uh, Angie's right. Lily looks in the jewelry books all the time. So when I showed her the black one, she was like, I don't see that in a book, no. So, yeah. So we have Vicky Porter at 30. Uh, hip, uh, Kelly, it put the mama's out. So we're going to do, um, man, those are some cool pieces. Vicky, Vicky's still in this. We got Vicky going once at $30. Serious, guys, go look on, on, on Poshmark. You're not going to see very much of the gunmetal or the black Monet. It's mostly going to be silver or it's going to be gold or it's going to be in gold and enamel pieces. Or even I had some white and blue beading pieces that had a Monet on them. So it's not uh, it's not often you see this. So we have Kel Kelly. Wayne was at 31. And Kelly maybe came back at 32. Getting a younger crowd maybe because, you know, Monet tends to target uh, 
maybe goth, sure maybe goth or steampunk crowd something <laughs> all right so uh if the mama pulled a rolling picker said she was out and came back in at 32 we have vicky at 33 anybody want to give me 35 I'm surprised, Dwayne, you're bidding because you hate jewelry. We have Vicki Porter at $33 going once. You know, that would make sense, Cindy, about going for the younger crowd. Yeah. They're more into the goth, the goth or the steampunk. I mean, that would be uh, that would be what they would be doing. Okay, we have Vicki Porter at $33 going twice. All right, guys, we have Mothership Products. He's pulling what I do to him. $35. And then uh, says I changed my mind. Sorry. No need to be sorry. I think it's I think it's funny. I think it's cool. I'll I dig it. So we have Dwayne at $35. Look, somebody really wants this. Anybody want to give me $40 for this? Three piece set. We got Dwayne at $35. Anybody want to give me $40? You're gonna be getting some really cool pieces, either for wearing or I'm telling you that she's right, the younger group. Vicky's saying Dwayne's out. Is Dwayne out? Mm -hmm. No, he's not out. We have yeah, Dwayne sorry. going once at the at the thirty five dollars. Kelly says the hollow uh, hollow long chain is calling me though. Well, we're going to be doing uh, going twice. This has such a cool feel to it. I like the way it like flows, the way it feels. The Dwayne at thirty five dollars. Listen to Jameson's closet there, Kelly. They're saying, come on, Kelly, you can sell a few more pieces Tuesday to pay for it. Th this is definitely a moneymaker piece, guys. I know we joke about Monet makes money. Monet is money equals money, but it does. No matter what size the piece is, somebody is going to always be buying Monet out there. And like I say, this black being new type, uh, I don't see much of it. So there's a particular crowd you're going to be going after. All right. Uh, I did say I wanted uh, – we had Dwayne at 35 going twice. I'm just going to go ahead and ask, does anybody want to give $37? Oh, we've got uh, – I am now changed my mind. So are you, is that a bit of 36? We got Vicky at 36. Oh, they're pulling the rolling picker thing, Cindy. <laughs> so I'm thinking – I've ne yeah, never seen black either, Kelly. I'm telling you, I got I think one of the very first pieces she got out of a jar. What was a couple months back, a few months yeah, back. And I, 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 I'm, I'm so lucky that I got that piece. All right, so we have Vicky at 36. I think that was so, my very uh, first auction, Roland. Yeah, and I had to have it, man. It was just a beautiful piece. We have Vicky at 36 going once, Dwayne. You gonna let her karate chop you like that, Kelly? You gonna come in and karate chop? Uh, out. Dwayne says he's out. All right. We have Vicky Vicky Porter at thirty six dollars. We're gonna do her twice, going twice at thirty six. Kelly, this is gonna be coming up. This is gonna be it. I don't know if there's any lag. Oh, she just says I was getting ready to type sold because I was gonna say fair warning last call. We have $37 from Kelly. Anybody want to go? We're this close, guys. Anybody want to give 40? I mean, I'll take 38. I'll take 39. But I think this this piece, these three pieces are well worth 40 easy. 40 easy. And there's a lot of retail left in here. Because it's unusual. Because everybody's selling the vintage stuff. They're selling the, the vintage look and all. So we got uh, Hip Flip and Mama Kelly in at $37. And we're going to do going once. Hi, uh, GB Mix uh, Vlogs. We have Vicki Porter in at 40 mm -hmm. All right, we've got Vicki Porter at $40. $40 going once. We're going to try to move this along. I want to see how serious these people are. Yes, that's, are you asking, is that Cindy Jewelry Nurse? Yes, Misha, that is the the rock star jewelry nurse. Oh, my goodness. Yes, it's so, me. Thank you. So we have Vicki Porter, $40 going once. We're going to do Vicki Porter going twice. I'm not going to give you ladies any any chance to think about it. You either jump in there now 
because Vicky's got it at $40 going twice. We're going to do fair warning, last call. I'll give you a couple of seconds. Thank you. All right. Sold to uh, sold to Vicky Porter for forty dollars. Thank you, Vicky. Welcome back. Thank you, Corey. Vicky. Yep. Thank you, uh, Vicky. Thank you, uh, Dwayne, for the bids. Thank you, Kelly, for the bids. All right. The next piece. Now, I'm stoked that I get to call a real. This next piece coming up, guys. Lot seventeen is an Elsa. Is that pretty? Pretty. Ready. 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 Tiffany, Ready. Tiffany and Company Sterling Silver Apple Necklace a Hallmark, but there is no box, unfortunately. But this is a true Tiffany piece, guys. This is the and smaller there. apple. It does come in two different sizes, but this is the um, smaller one. This is Spain, and it's the Elsa Peretti design. My hands are getting so dirty from the ink. And the starting price on this, guys, for this Tiffany piece is fifty dollars. And you know, you know, without the box, this will these will sell for a hundred or, or or more easily, easily. Yeah, they're listed on the average of one twenty and up. Uh, uh, hold, hold on, hold on there, Cindy. Huh? Hold on there, Cindy. Hold on, Cindy. Vicky, are you saying the the big chain necklace. She wants to send you to send the big chain, the big long necklace. So that must be the, the 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 hollow one. She wants the Vicky wants you to send that to uh, Kelly. Kelly, okay. So do you have that down, Angie? The hollow necklace goes to Kelly, and the earrings and the other black necklace goes to Vicky. Cool. Thank you for getting that, honey. Okay. Let me put this. Very cool. Congratulations, Kelly. Let's see. Didn't it hit, didn't she buy something earlier? Let's see. I'll throw it in the same bed. Um, I think Kelly Kelly may have bought something earlier. Yeah, the uh, that, that's that's yeah. what I love about this community. This community that is so cool. That's what I love about this community. It's just you never know when it's going to be Christmas. Never ever. So yeah, Kelly, Vicky sending you that uh, big hollow necklace. I'm putting it in with the um, pearl necklace. Oh, yes. Angie says she bought the lot uh, uh, 14. Okay. So this one here is the uh, real Tiffany and Company, guys. I put the starting price up there. It's $50. Um, uh, you can go and, and probably Google or eBay it, but you know, I mean, with box, they do command more money, but without box, they're still um, 100, 100 and a quarter. True. They're still up around there easily. So we have Francis Marlowe at fifty dollars, and you know that Cindy always authenticates everything. She either tests it for silver and gold, and she authenticates things to make sure that you're getting the genuine. Yeah, I researched this one; it's legit. Trying to get it to focus so you can see the um, the signature sure. and the Tiffany and company, the Hallmark. There we go. Sure. Jewelry too, you're right. As always, generosity overflows. That's what I love about this community. So that's backwards. I'm there, you can how see dry that. my cuticles are. Uh-oh. We need to get them fixed. Yes, I do. I I must have washed my hands 2,000 times in the last couple well, of days because of what I'm working on. There you work at a doctor's me. office. Yeah. I wash my hands a lot. And sanitize. You have to, man, with sick yeah. people around. There's so we have Francis at 50. And yeah, Spicky is a sweetheart, man. Uh, we love everybody that's in this community, man. Everybody is so kind and generous. And that's yeah. uh, wh whether it's jewelry or regular reselling of hard goods, everybody's always generous. Makes me proud to be a part of it. All right, so Frances has is, uh, is got it at $50. I can't, I can't believe she's going to steal this, man. Hey, Elizabeth England, welcome. Glad you could make it. All right, this is the uh, the Tiffany & Co. Uh, what was it? Elsie per Elsa Peretti. 
Elsa Peretti. The Spanish designer. This is a piece from Spain. This is a Spanish piece of Tiffany. And how long was the chain? The chain is, I believe, 18 inches. Let me make sure. Oh, I didn't put that in there. Hold on. Let me measure. That's funny, Angie. So if anyone does not want their diamond paintings, they can send them my way. <laughs> okay. Oh, here it is. Somehow I managed to lose stuff and I don't even get up. Yes, Kelly, they did. They did love on you. Um, yeah, this is 16-inch. Um, 16-inch, no extender? No extender, but you could always put one on. And this is, um, as you can see, the chain. It is the larger Apple actually has in the uh, of these. There's one that's the same design, but it's larger. It's actually marked on the apple itself, but this, you can't remove the apple from the chain. So it the chain is marked, but the apple does not. And that's how it is. Like most of their, a lot of their stuff, they do a smaller and a larger. And the smaller piece is almost always marked on the chain and not the piece itself. Because you can't take it off the chain, basically. Okay, so let me double check my bid there to make sure. So we have, I got to scroll up. Yes. No, no extender, but you can put one on it, guys, if you really wanted to. You know, so we, really an extender to any chain. So we have Francis at uh, $50. At Tiffany for 50 That's a that is a deal, Kelly. Uh, so we're going to do going once. Going once to Francis to $50. And that is a steal. You know what that would look good with this? You guys know it. Come on. <laughs> a really nice silk blouse. Okay. You thought I was going to say Harley shirt. I'm thinking of something with the apple, like something like Sophia Loren would wear, you know, with the pull down blouse, like yes. running through the, the, through the vineyard to a picnic with some wine and cheese. Yes. All right. Enough reminiscing on my part. We're running through the apple orchard, right? Running through the apple orchard in Italy. Yeah, that's a that's a, you're getting a real deal here, and I'd be very happy for Francis to get it. That yes, we got it. Francis at uh, fifty dollars going twice. All right, guys, we've got Francis at fifty dollars going twice. This is I'm going to tell you guys we're not going to drag this one out. Fair warning, last call. If you want it, you need to jump in here. If not, I'm telling you, last call. Fair warning, sold to Francis for $50. Thank you, Francis. Congratulations, Francis. Somebody call the cops. She just stole this for 50 bucks. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Well done, Francis. Great, great pickup. Okay, what is that, number 17? Let's see. That was 17. Now, 18 coming up, guys. We've only got uh, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven. Seven left, guys. This is a huge bunch of sterling here. This, this is, is a um, sterling statement piece here, guys, for sure. Me you have wrote down here Mexican sterling silver. Yeah, it's Malachite. Malachite inlay. Yep. Has and been. The starting price, $35, guys. There it is, stamped. And you know, if it's stamped, you know Cindy still tested it. Yes, I test it even if it is stamped because. Very, very thorough. And uh, it's got the Malachite uh, inlays. Very pretty. And the starting price is 35. And how long is. I know they're going to ask. Let's see. Uh, how long is it? You know, we have uh, Kelly at 35. And when I started typing it to you, I was so tired. I just want to get it done. So I took some shortcuts. So I apologize. No, um, no, 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 don't apologize. That's cool. This way everybody gets it right off the bat. This, I'd say, including this dip is 16. And this, you could put an extender on it, too. I mean, the way it's, you know, anytime you have this, you can put an extender on it. So 16. 16, Kathleen. And I and, think uh, um, 
like Kelly's nine grams. So about it's really a troy ounce of silver. What is a troy ounce? Like thirty. Oh, I don't know. And regular grams is so, um, regular in grams. It's twenty eight grams to an ounce. So this is literally an ounce, a little over an ounce of silver. So a little over an ounce of silver, sixteen inch. And the malachite they're asking is there is it green? Yeah, green. It looks green to me. And the, all they're all saying it's pretty, it's beautiful. Vicky, this this one is to die for. It is a gorgeous piece. I mean, as far as statement necklaces go, it's one of the smaller ones. It's not like the one that no, Rebecca it's, bought, no, but yeah. it's, it's it's still elegant enough, you know. Uh, for sterling, Kathleen, this is a statement necklace for a precious metal for sure. Yeah, Kathleen Branson at thirty-seven. Anybody want to give me thirty-nine? Thank you for that bid, Kathleen. Thank you for your bid, uh, Kelly. And I never Very beautiful piece. because I knew if I wore this, I wouldn't sell it. I fell in love with it right away. So I said, you know what? I cannot wear this. I won't sell it if I do. Oh, that's how it works with you. If you'd have put that on, it would not have been here. Yep, exactly. That's why this, because <laughs> if I put it on and I've had it on ever since. Um, I think that green Kelly, there is some lighter green in there also. I think Malachite. There is a little more. bit. The Malachite in this almost, let's see if I can. Um, Jewelry yeah, too saying they can rock this. Is they've taken Malachite and put it in resins. I'm sure you've seen them do this. Um, but they put the Malachite. Know. It's Malachite. Bring it up a little to the middle. And then they inlaid that. Let me see if I can get it. You gotta pull the necklace up to the middle a little bit, to the middle of the screen. There you go, because they couldn't see the yeah. what you were showing with the with the loop. There you go. There you go, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now type chips in resin and then inlaid. Wow, Tracy says her mom bought a very similar one in Mexico for over two hundred dollars new. Yep, that would not surprise me at all. I'm sure so, that's what they're going for. All right, so we've got. Uh, Kathleen Brandt at $37 going once. Anybody want to give me $40 for this beautiful Yeah, piece? if I listed this, Ellen. I would probably start it at 100 Or if you're selling on Posh, you put that thing up for a little more than that, knowing that 100 is a nice, easy-peasy way to make some money. All right, we've got Kelly in at uh, 38 Anybody want to give me $40 for this? Beautiful piece of Mexican silver with malachite. Moving it. Oh, I'll bet it was going to pop. Yeah, Lori, you're right. She says malachite is an expensive stone. I'll bet it's going to pop on this black easily. Okay, so we have that going once was for uh, Kathleen Brandt and um, Hip. I put the Mama Kelly came in at 38. So we're going to do Kelly at $38 going once. I do want to see it on the black, though. Yeah, give me one second here. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm just going to put it on and make sure I don't have anything twisted here. Uh, Kelly says, Cindy, you have gorgeous pieces. She does, man. I'm mm -hmm. telling you guys, any auction that, that Cindy's doing, she brings her A game. Heck, you saw what happened at MSP auction. A month, I think it was like three weeks ago or or four weeks ago. Yeah, about that. that. Yep. Right up the box in the native stuff. I mean, she brings the good stuff, guys. Oh my. We have Gail A at forty dollars. Anybody want to give me forty two? I tell you, who else has some great, unbelievable pieces? Is the lady I always auction with, Rebecca? Oh my gosh. Some of mm -hmm. the stuff we've got to get her camera to where you can really see her stuff because. Kathleen's out, guys. This piece easily, easily a hundred bucks, easy. You could probably get more than that. All right, so we have Gail A at forty dollars. It does actually look good on the black there. It does. It pops, man. We've got Gail A at forty going once. Anybody want to give me forty-two dollars? Want to give you an idea of size on this of the pieces? So about two, three inches. That's pretty good size. 
Yeah, and it's about about two and a half. Two and, and a half long. that way. Yeah. What did I say? Uh, three. Right, I'm yeah. it this way. Yeah. And two. and that's a lot of malachite in there. Two inches that way. So it's it is a sub you know it is a substantial amount of silver. All right, we have Gail A at forty dollars going twice. Anybody want to give me forty two for this? Hi, Gail. Didn't see you in there. Welcome. And Maury. Hi, Maury, and hi, Kathleen. She says Cindy is fibbing. Rebecca. Rebecca says you're fibbing. <laughs> okay. Sorry. What am I fibbing about this time? All right, guys, we've got um, Gail at $40. And this is fair warning, last call, and Lynn's right. You can't even go to Mickey D's for $40 nowadays. God, no kidding. Is this getting terrible? You can't. You can't go to anywhere. All right, and guys. Very food that's killing you. Yeah. Sold, sold to Gail A for $40. Gail? Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Gail. Uh, and Kathleen and Kelly for the bids. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, guys. Not lot 19. This is a cool lot. This is a vintage Coro, 10 commandments, charm bracelet, and it says pre-copyright, excellent condition. So you're going to have to explain to me what pre-copyright. That means... They started copywriting stuff in 1955. And so if it doesn't have a copyright, it's like a vintage Coro or Monet or any of those pieces as like Napier, Trafari, all oh, those. It doesn't okay. have a copyright sign. Usually means that it was made prior to 1955 or 1955 or, or, or sooner. And this is Coro piece, and it is in very good condition. I saw some of these listed, and they were none of them in as, in as good a shape as this one. Oh, they, a lot of them, almost every one I saw had a lot of color issues, a lot of color wear. This one is marked Coro right there on the... There you go. See, there is no um, copyright there. We had start of 15 and Sandra came right in at 25. So we have Sandra at 25. This is Coral Vintage, guys. And like she said, pre copyrighted. So that, that's before 55, you said? Yeah. 1955. Ten Commandments so, in beautiful condition. That is beautiful. Probably one of my favorite pieces tonight. Did you ever wear it? Obviously no, not. No, I've not worn this, no. Because it was another one of those things. If I wear it, it's not going anywhere. Too many pieces end up in my jewelry box that way. So <laughs> So we have Sandra at $25 on this Coral Vintage piece. And, guys, that is beautiful. Look at it. It's got, instead of saying it, it just shows you what the, uh, what the commandments are. I see the killing one there. It looks like a sword in somebody. Mary Harris, my husband and I and our family, just before my kids left home, we tried an experiment like that where we went a whole month without eating out, where we had to prepare all of our food in the house. We saved a tremendous amount of money. He Probably was, helped your system, just too. doing it one month. It probably helps your, uh, your system, too, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. The way your body runs. Yep. All right, Sandra is at $25 on this vintage coral piece. We had her going once at 25. We're gonna do going twice at 25. Anybody wanna give me 27? Can I get 27 for this? Cause you know what's coming up ladies and uh, gentlemen. Gonna be fair warning last call coming up. We have Sandra at twenty-five dollars. What did I do with my bag? Oh, this is going to go in her private collection. Very cool. Very cool. Very All right, nice. guys. Fair warning. Last call. Sold to Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. And it's uh, going to be a nice addition for your collection. I like that when 
It's not always about the reselling. You know, you buy for your collection. Bag got away from me. What lot number was this? That was lot number 19. 19. Okay, I have to retape it somewhere. I lost my bag. Lot 20. I tape. How oh, did guys. Tape? Lot 20 is going to be coming up. I got it. I'm going to tease you. Seven pairs, vintage interchangeable earrings, natural stone, mother of pearl, wood, and ceramic. So seven pairs of vintage interchangeable coming up next. Yes, and congratulations, Santa. That was a good pickup at 25 bucks. Very nice buy. I'm glad you got that, Sandra. I know you wanted that one, so I'm happy you got it. Okay, guys. Seven pairs of vintage interchangeable earrings. And the, the price is even awesome. Now, interchangeable these earrings. Natural sure. Most of them. Some of them could be even older than that. And I'm going to put the starting price up there now, yeah, guys. It's $25. $25 on these. I love Mother of Pearl. I'll show you how these work. So they come with these, and I have um, some in silver, and I have several extra pairs of these. Um, you really only need one pair of these because you can change them out and put any of these on. It's a true door knocker, basically, like that. And I have, I think, four in the silver, four pairs of these in the silver, and then I have a pair in gold tone. But the first pair are these Mother of Pearl. And very, very pretty. Second pair are these ceramic. Those are cool. I'm going to take all these silver things out of them. Yeah, so these are, those, those are they're actually those are, they're, favorites. They're interchangeable, but they're post. They're, they're yeah, post. they're post. They're this type of a post. Cool. So that actually is what holds it on. You don't need yeah. the um, yep. a little, what do you call it? back. Those are pretty. Yeah, I love these. I love this pair. So that's the second ones. And then the third ones are wood. And these I have right now on the gold. Very pretty with the gold. And these to me, um, one of the only woods I usually recognize the grain when I see it is oak. And these look like they probably are oak. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Oak is very easily to distinguish when you see it, even if it's been whitewashed or whatever. Gold has a really, oak's got a really distinct pattern, and I believe these to be oak. Is that cut? Uh, the look in the strapping is that a actual material, or is that the wood? Um, I think okay. that's leather, leather strips on there. All right, cool. So there's that. Is the third pair. Then the fourth pair are these, um, and these are moss agate. Let me show you these up okay. close. There you go. Let's see. There you go. Focus. And I do have a disclaimer on this pair. They have had this. I these were mine. I've had these since early seventies. Um, these have a crack running across there that they repaired but it's been like that since the 70s and has never broke on me i used to wear these all the time but they're too heavy for me now so that is the fourth pair and those are moss agates then the fifth pair are these and i'm not really certain what these are made out of whether these are glass or some kind of stone but they're kind of an ivory color and they have a very high polish I believe they are stone as opposed to glass, but I don't know for sure on these. So that is the fourth pair. The fifth pair are these, and this is some gorgeous cat's eye or tiger's eye here. Yeah, this that is pretty. It has a blonde color in it. I love tiger's so, eye. And like if you look, like it looks dark there, but look, if you move it, you see the, the light. So these are some gorgeous um, pieces of tiger's eye here. A lot of good color in them. 
And then these, I love to, these are fossilized coral here. Cool. Very pretty too. Yeah, these are really cool. You know, look at these when you get them under a loop and you see all those, what looks like sails in it, but they're just the, the matrixing in a piece of coral basically that you're looking at. But these are fossilized mm -hmm. coral here. And this is just one spare extra. This, these all came either I owned them or they came from an estate sale. This one right here actually came in a jar. And unfortunately, there was only one of them. Um, I'm throwing this in just because what am I going to do with it? But just in case. Um, you could be a if pirate. I find the other one, I will send it. But just in case you want to wear like two different earrings, which is supposed to be the fad. Well, it is the fad right now because I've seen people doing it. Just in case you want to rock that look, I'm going to throw that in. But it's seven pairs, and there are four pairs of these silver and one pair of the gold. Let's All right, guys. I have the starting yep. price up there at $25. So that is a lot of interchangeable, very pretty, especially the uh, tiger's eye and the mother of pearl or the shell. Yeah, that is pretty. I love that tiger's eye. Yeah, I guess you could use as a pendant. Yes, you Mary. could. You could use any of them as a pendant. Yep. You could put yeah, it on very easily. this. You could use as a pendant too because you don't. Yeah, whoever came up with that idea, good idea. That was Mary. Yeah, Mary. All right, guys, we have any love for $25? Seven pairs of interchangeable. Has four of the silver uh, clips or the backings and one gold. And then there's that lone straggler blue one with its own backing. And uh, Cindy says if she does come across the other one. Uh, but I will tell you, I paid more than 25 for these two pairs together when I bought them. I bought these together with one pair this is the pair that came with it cost me more than 25 in the and when i bought them but then it was much harder to get natural stone anywhere either and you couldn't yeah yeah you couldn't get it as easily as you can now but yeah, yeah. we have um mary harris at 25 dollars. anybody want to give 27 can i get 27 mary harris is at 25 on this beautiful set of Vintage interchangeable earrings. We have uh, Mary Harris at 25 going once. These would definitely here. You could probably sell this pair alone for 25 on this fossilized well, well, coral. Yeah. Yeah, fossilized, fossilized coral, most definitely. All right. Anybody want to give 27? We have Mary Harris at $25. Anybody want to give 27? That's seven pieces of ear, seven earrings. And one lone straggler who needs a home. <laughs> Gone one, twice. One puppy. Hey, H. Goodness. Welcome. Yeah, you could put a bail on this, definitely, and make a pendant out of it. Good idea. Yeah. That, I would have never thought of that. Yeah, it would make All right. All right, guys. We've got these seven pairs of vintage interchangeable earrings, natural stone, plus the mother of pearl and wood in a ceramic set. $25 to Mary. All right, last warning, last call, fair warning. Sold, sold to Mary Harris for $25. Very nice, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Very, very nice pickup. Okay, guys, we're down to the last four items, and then we have a few that didn't have any love and uh, she'll probably re-show those again because we have new people that have been coming in here. Okay, yeah, just let me know when you want me to. I want to, I want to thank everyone that's 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 in here or has come in here, whether you've purchased or not, for supporting Cindy. And I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Um, I've been dying to get her on here when we were after we first started doing this, and events just didn't allow it to happen until now. I'm very grateful that she's here, and I'm very grateful that you guys are here too taking part in this and, and spreading the love. Okay, this is a sterling silver charm bracelet. It's a lot 21, yes. 
the double chain does have to start at twenty-four dollars, guys. It's Matt marked right there. And I think this is about twenty grams of silver. It's marked right there, and it has been tested. I don't know if I'm going to get that to focus, but it is test. It is um, definitely says 925. And this is a charm bracelet. And I think it is, how many inches did I say it was? I think seven and a half inches. Yeah, you have seven and a half on here. Yeah, seven and a half with the toggle clasp, and it's 20 grams of silver. 20 grams of silver. Yes. And the starting price, guys, is $20, $24, and you know she's tested it. So you're getting a nice chunk of silver there at 20 grams. So we're uh, so when you say this is a charm bracelet, so all you got to do is pick up some little silver charms. and Yeah, put charms on it. There. When you see these kind of a link, there you go. So is that usually how they sell them? They sell the chain? Chain separate, and then you buy the charm separate. Yeah, or? generally yes, unless you buy one up as some of us. Like I sold a charm bracelet a few auctions ago to Anita, and I I put some charms with it. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't have any um, I don't have any on this one. All right, guys, do we have any love for the seven and a half inch charm bracelet? Just the bracelet, uh, twenty grams of silver for twenty four dollars. Yeah, let me put we'll it on a little. that it's a fairly good size chain here. This is not a sissy chain. It's a good size one. Catherine K says, oh, my God, I had one just like that many years ago. Do you? Yeah, I think this is vintage. Yeah. Okay, so... You can see that this is a good size bracelet. Oops. It actually goes nice with those two, doesn't it, that I have on? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, she put it on, guys. Oh. And we have any love for the bracelet at $24? No, move on. All righty, then. Well, I think we'll go ahead and move on. Okay. Nobody has uh, said anything about it, so we'll do no love. Oh, Catherine says hers was stole along with a lot of other things when my house was broken into. That's true. Oh, I'm sorry. That is okay. so scary. Lot 22 is two White House black market necklaces, one with natural stone pendant. And as always, guys, if you, if you come back and, and decide to watch this, after it reloads or anybody that comes on after it reloads, it's new. If you're interested in the items where they had no love, just contact Cindy. Her information is in the description to contact her. And remember those that have won, if you've not bought from Cindy before, please uh, uh, email her your information. That would be your real name, your YouTube name, so she can match it up if she has to. And your shipping address, since she will uh, send you a pretty sure it's gonna be a PayPal invoice. So yeah, yeah I'll PayPal invoice. Yeah. All right guys, so this is the this is the White House two White House black market necklace, one with pendant stone. This is a lot of two for one price. Fifteen dollars is the start. And this is a higher end brand. You could list these and probably get, um, if you listed them, you'd probably get 25 for one necklace. And they sell for a lot more than that new. So this is definitely a really good brand. Um, let me show you up close. That's got some sparkly in it. Yeah, it's a pretty piece. We have uh, Gail A at 15, Kelly at 16, Gail A at 17. Oh, so the, oh, there you go. There wow. we go. Is that Mal Malachite? 
No, or I, I What's the other? It to look like uh, marcasite. Marcasite. That's the name I was looking yeah, for. But I don't think it is. I think it's meant to look like it. Um, but all the stones are there. And Very they, pretty. Thank you for correcting me on that too. I knew what I was. I knew what I was thinking. It's hard to tell. The marcasite is a really easy one to fake, and it does get faked a lot. And then this tassel necklace, and this is a natural stone in here. I just don't know what kind of stone it is. Pretty. It could be marble. I don't know. It's a solid. It, it white like, could stone. be white. Could could be white buffalo. Um. Yeah, that would be nice. Um. Yeah. I I doubt it, but it's possible. But I'm not a. It I'm is not a, a pro. Italian brand. Yeah, I'm not a pro on that. Yeah, me either. Not on the white buffalo. But it looks like it. But this is very nicely made. And a lot of these um, baguette stones, you don't really see those baguettes in the less expensive brands that much. Mm -hmm. When you see those baguette rhinestones, most of the time it's in a higher end brand. I love Definitely. baguette rhinestones let me see where we're at we're all the way we got kelly at 18 2021 20, 22 gail a is at 23 and cc says it could be how light yeah uh, michael said it's how light cc yeah it, it could be we have my cozy nest with rebecca at 25 gail a at 26 anybody want to give 30 dollars for these two pieces very pretty. Oh, they look good on, against the black. I just wish it would photograph well against black, but it doesn't. So let me tell you the links. Um, oh, man, I thought I wrote them down here, but I guess I didn't. I think this one, the Gunmetal is a little bit shorter. It is 16 with a mm, two inch extender and they have, they always have some kind of little um, faceted glass bead on the end like that with mm -hmm. Black White House Black Market. And they've got a couple of different tags mm -hmm. and usually you can there tell, you I don't, I'd have to look it up, but usually you can tell by the style of the tag. As, so that's uh, 16 with a two inch extension. Yeah. And this other one, I think, is about an 18, maybe a 20. Let me look here. Thank you, Angie. Yeah, this one is an 18, and it has about a same length of a, an extender, a little over an inch on the extender, a little bit of a, sh well, wait a minute. I've got it all tied up on there. Yeah, about the same. The extent the um, okay. is just under two inches on the extender on that one. So it's the gold one is eighteen they have inches. Have a little rhinestone there in their tag, and sometimes they don't. And sometimes it'll actually say White House Black Market, and sometimes it just has the initials, like that one. So that one has an eighteen inch with uh, just over a one inch extender. All right, guys, we have Gail at $26. Anybody want to give me uh, 28? We have Gail A at 26. Going once. Yeah. Fighting me all the way here. That is pretty. Gail A then at $26. Anybody want to give me 28 for this? Anyone got 28? We have Gail A at 26 going twice. This is another one I had to not wear. I would have kept it. I really right. love the style of this. I love tassel necklaces, as you can see. All right, guys. <laughs> yep, fair warning. Last call. Last chance. Sold. Sold to Gail A for $26. Thank you, Gail. Two more pieces, guys. 
I thought Gail had left us. I didn't realize she was still in there. I thought she had left us earlier, so I was happy to see you back. All right, guys. Lot 23 is going to be a Monet brooch, Kim Rogers brooch, both new inbox, and an Avon brooch. So there's a three-piece brooch set, and this is all for the same money, right? Yes. Now, the Avon money. brooch is not in the box. It's not new. The Avon new. is not. It's not okay. in the box or anything. It's probably been worn, but in very good right. condition. All righty, guys. So two in the box and one not. There's the Monet in the box. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I love this one. That is beautiful. My camera makes it look like it's more of a violet purple, but it yeah. really is more of a purple purple, sort of a lavender color. Hey, guys, the starting price on these three pieces is $15. That is a beautiful Monet. Yes, I can tell you this one alone sold for more than the 15. And this is the Kim Rogers. Yeah, Kim Rogers. Very pretty. I like the enameling. Okay, so we had Kelly at 15, Mary at 16. Oh, my God, look at the detail on that. The yeah. camera really focused. Could you get that Monet when you see it done showing the Avon? Could you try to get the Monet up there that close? Yeah. Because that, that color on that is just, oh, my God, look at that. We've got Kathleen Brand at 17. The enameling on this one is really pretty, too, on that yeah, lid. It is pretty. Lighter color than it's coming off there. It's a green. My Elmer cozy neck at 20. There. We have my cozy neck at 20. Gaze. Sorry about that. Sorry. I need so to that's beautiful. my camera color. Uh, we've got uh, Kelly at 23. Yeah, the quality is amazing on those two. And then this is just a little Avon brooch here. And it's not going to want to focus. It's like, you've got me. How can you do me after the Monet and the, and the Kim? Mad. There you go. Kim Rogers, it's mad. Very pretty piece. Okay, and so color brooches too on these the Monet and this one, which is one of the things I like about them. If you like smaller pieces, mm -hmm. okay, so three pieces, pieces. three pieces, guys. The new Monet, the new Kim Rogers, the used or the old Avon, and the detail on these is crazy. We have uh, my cozy nest at twenty five. Mary uh, says she's out. Bell Tier said she's out. Mm -hmm. Kelly's in at 26. Good yeah, I'm, 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 just, I'm just blown away by the color of the Monet. Yeah. So got, uh, Kelly at 26, guys. Anybody want to go 28? Kelly at 26 going once. I, I'm going to tell you, but 25 for three. That's crazy insane. There you go. The Avon one, it did focus a little bit there. Yeah, that that's just crazy that. insane. There you go. There you go. It's got like a little light blue crystal in it. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to focus right there unless I blog well, it. Well, now, now, now it is. Well, there it was. We saw it. Okay, we have Kelly at twenty six. It's a great bargain, guys. Going twice at twenty six. Anyone want to give me twenty eight? Oh, and I forgot. Uh, this is coming in with it as a free gift. Oh, we got uh, a free gift, this guys. This is not a brooch. It's a stick pin. Stick pin? Yeah. You got a free bonus. All right, guys. Anybody, now that we've got the stick pin, anybody want to give 20, 28? So that's four pieces. And you break it down to, for $28. We have uh, Kelly at 26. All right. We're going to do a fair warning and a last call, guys. That's a great buy at $26. The, 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 on the, I, I don't know about the Kim Kim Rogers, but I can speak on the Monet. You'll make your they money back and more on that. 
they are up there. It's a brand that's up there with um, Monet in quality for sure. Well, then they're easily double your money. Easily triple it, I would yeah. think. All right, guys, that was fair warning. Last call. Sold to Kelly. Hip flip and mama. For thank you, Kelly, and thank everybody who bid on $26, it. $26. And, guys, we saved lot number five for last because I wanted to make sure that you guys – well, it I saw all the other stuff first, but you know how I am about jewelry jars. I love jewelry jars. Cindy told me she was bringing a jewelry jar, and I'm like, okay, I know it's going to be a good jewelry jar. Now, this is an unopened jewelry jar, and I am actually selling this one for Roland. The proceeds from this one go to him. What? Uh, yeah, the proceeds for this go to, to Roland. Oh. Oh, you don't have to do that, Cindy. No, yes, I do. Don't tell me I don't have to do that because I can. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. I didn't know that that was happening. Oh, my God. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, this is going to you. Oh, my God. Thank you very much. I love this community, man. And, you guys, she's got this chart. This is virgin unopened, and she's got a great starting price on this. Yeah, now, like always, I can't guarantee what will be in it, obviously. Um, and it's a smaller jar. It's not a huge jar. So you did not go through this at all? Yeah, no, I haven't opened it. It hasn't been touched. Um, I have guys. a little bit of natural stone in it, like there, right there. Well, they were bidding before I could even get the price up. Dwayne was at 50. Kelly's at 55. Dwayne's at 60. Ooh, look at the, look at that in there, man. So, so you, didn't even know, you didn't open it up and peek and. No, and no, you know, and I've got up. four jars sitting down here at my feet. So yeah, I can actually. Um, can you, not can you pull your camera, camera back a little bit so they can see? There you go. Perfect. I'm actually pretty good about leaving the jars alone. Um, Alice Oxford wants to know what state was it bought in? In Virginia, at the same place I buy all of my jars. It, it has a running Timex um, iron. Oh, it's running right there. Yeah, and the only things that I can point out for sure in there that I know are you know really decent that I can see um, are the and I will. I see there's some new items in here still on tags. And I did um, tell Mike that I would um, give a piece of sterling silver with this just to assure that you get at least one piece of sterling with this. Yeah, I, I, I have to say, I knew that. I didn't know about the good, the proceeds coming to me. I appreciate that. Yeah. This I mean, I, I knew about the jar and the sterling silver, but that was about it. So mm -hmm. we have Mothership products at $60. Yeah. Now they don't. They don't get the jar, right? You're gonna. No, I'm put gonna this put it in the bag and, because I um, I don't want to open it, and I want you to be assured that it has not oh, been okay. opened. So I'm sending it as is. I'll put it in a um a flat rate box and um, ship it. I'll put well, whatever it's cheapest is. It probably be might even be cheaper to send it by weight. So whichever is cheapest is how I will send it. So that's cool, guys. That's she's not even going to open it. No, no, I want it. To you're going to be the first unopened. one. You're going to be the first one to open it. All right. So we have most ship products at sixty dollars. Thank you, Dwayne. Does anybody want to go higher than sixty dollars? I know Jewelry Two says there. I've never been able to get one. Here's your chance. Now, I know Cindy always buys jewelry jars. She seems to just have them on the shelf like. All over the place. Catherine says, uh, Catherine K says, it is like Christmas when you get it. Yeah, I mean, I, I watched. Uh, great big ones like Thelma does, but every once in a while I find a really big one, but not real often. Most of the time they're smaller, medium sized jars. Yeah, I want you guys to know um, I had no idea that this was happening. Um, Cindy, everybody knows that I've ever called an auction for her. I don't ask for any money. There's no requirement for it. I do it to help you guys try to move some of your inventory like Dwayne does. You know, Dwayne does it uh, the same way. 
he doesn't charge. There's no, uh, uh, what well, they call it, buyer premium or any of that or seller premium. You know, it's just to help you guys move your inventory, pick up a little bit of extra cash for a burger, or pizza, or a night out on the town. And that's why we do it, you know. And, uh, and as Dwayne says, the jewelry usually is like recycled between everybody. I think yeah, we all makes the rounds for sure. Yeah, I'm sure I've owned pieces and sold pieces that Cindy had, that Vicky had, that Dwayne had, that, you know, Anita had. I mean, it's just the way it makes the rounds, guys. Yeah, I've gotten the same, what I think might be the same brooch a couple of times has come back to me. Uh, it yeah. could be a different one, but the same brooch I've gotten in a lot a couple of times, the same design, same exact. Probably not the same exact one, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was. I almost All right. mark a piece to see if it's actually the same one if it comes back to me. Um, we've got uh, Dwayne at $60 going once. Anybody want to go higher than $60? I want to get to those other uh, those other few pieces that didn't, uh, didn't have any love. Because we've got some new people in here that weren't in here in the beginning. So I want to give those a fair shot. All right, we've got Dwayne at sixty dollars going twice. Anybody want to go higher than sixty? Dwayne, you hate jewelry. I can't. I can't believe this. You hate jewelry, brother. All right, fair warning, last call. Dwayne has it at sixty dollars. Sold. And Dwayne, you have to open this on your channel. You can't give that away. You got to open it, bro. And you and and don't wait and let it turn into vintage stuff. Little joke, little inside <laughs> joke. That's what I hate. He, he says I hate. He says I hate jewelry, but I love rolling. I love you too, brother. Thank you very much, man. So, all right, uh, congratulations, Dwayne, and thank you so much, brother, for the love. He says, plus I have something in store. Oh my God, that can't be good. That cannot be good at all coming from him. All right, so Cindy, I didn't mark it down, but I know you know which ones did we not get the love on. I know that were there was, three or two. I think it was three, the Juicy Coulter Large Heart Purse Charm. Guys, these are ones that didn't get love in the beginning. Angie, can you verify the ones that didn't get the love? Here, let me, I, I know think I it was. Them. Let me find the third one. I don't remember what the third one was. I think there was uh, lot three. Okay, and, lot uh, three is the juicy couture. Then lot ten, the necklace. Yeah, and, yeah, the three tier necklace. Yeah. This. And I don't think Kelly was here for the three tier necklace. Okay, and let's see what else. Let's see. I don't remember what else was. Uh, Angie says lot three, lot 10, and lot 21. Lot 21. Three, 10, and 21. Okay, what was 21? Uh, 21. 21 was through. Oh, the charm bracelet. Yes, the charm bracelet. Okay. We'll just go ahead and, and give those one more round. We'll get everybody a chance to see them before we let you all go. I appreciate you guys for sticking around for this. I appreciate your support of uh, Cindy. It means a lot to me because um, I just adore. Uh, I've learned a lot from her. I've, I've received a, I've made a lot of great purchases from her. Um, I always enjoy her auctions when her and Vicky do them. And I'm going to try to get over to that girls night only thing to get in on uh, Rebecca's uh, auctions because the ladies always have the good stuff. So I think we're going to start with the, uh, with this uh, cult juicy, juicy large the heart purse. Purse charm. Okay. Yeah, and the start price on this was eight dollars, guys. And she said it could double as a keychain. You can take it to five. We'll start with five. Oh, so you want to start it at five? Do you want to go to five? Guys. Okay, scratch the eight, guys. This is a five dollar opening bid. Anybody? And it's got uh, clear rhinestones and pink rhinestones or red rhinestones in the heart. We didn't know if it was pewter or not, but uh, it does look very pretty. I think it's um, really stainless steel, to be honest. It's heavy. Well, well done, and it's a matte finishing. It's real done. Yeah. So we have Kelly at five. Is a um, is a good brand. 
Hey, Barb, glad you could make it. I missed my going on grumpy fix today. Hi, Barb, how are you? So we have uh, Kelly Hip with a mom at $5 on this. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce the last part of it. Juicy couture. Couture. Like couture dresses. Oh, okay. Yeah. Going once. And that's a carabiner style clip there, Kelly. Dwayne's right. It could double as a weapon. That's very right. pretty. And the it's rhinestones are keychain. You could definitely put a hurting on somebody with this. I mean, rhinestones are beautiful on that. Okay, we've got uh, Kelly at five dollars going twice. Let me get that up close. These, it's yeah, pretty well. Made. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Kathleen. She said, "Did you know pewter goes for twenty dollars a pound?" Yeah, pewter's kind of expensive. Um, for I sure. always thought it was a chunk metal. No, pewter's. Um, pewter's I tells you what I know. Expensive metal. I was reading the history on pewter the other day too. Some of the stuff they used to use it for. Oh no, Barb had a laptop emergency. All right, guys, five dollars. It was uh, going twice to uh, Kelly. Hip with the mama. Fair warning, last call. Sold. Sold to Kelly. Hip with the mama for five dollars. Thank you, Kelly, for the bid. You're, you said your daughter loves JC. Is you going to give this to your daughter? Is that the owner of this brand? That's who I was trying to think of earlier who juicy couture i thought it was a wrapper that um brand or oh really i didn't know that the brand sort of like uh um sean john the shot what is that brand sean i don't know john that um what's his name owns um, god why can i not see his name right now jewelry too it, uh, it was our pleasure having you here in the chat and at the auction and um if i do another auction again you're we'd love to have you come again okay guys this was number 10 right uh yes and i wanted to show you the shine this had that's why i'm putting it up close and then i'll show you what it looks like spread out and that these are nice heavy pieces it's not um um, um, yeah, it's not thin and flimsy. This is a this is three tier, right? 192328. Yeah, yep. Got the Chico's yeah. tag on it. And the start Maybe price, guys, is 10 bucks. Very good condition. I'm going to put it on the neck this time. Yeah, the black's going to really have this pop. I think the last time you had it on the brown one. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll look better. Yeah, on. now you can see it. Now you can really see it. So, guys, we got a start price of $10 on this on this um, Chico three-tier. Catherine K is in at $10. Thank you, Catherine, for the bid. This Anybody want to go higher than 10 person to appreciate. It, it is a very nice, very well-made Chico's. All right. Anybody want to go higher than 10? We have Kathleen K at $10. And we're going to move this one along, guys. So you snooze, you lose. We've got, um, if my computer will work, here we go. We have uh, Kathleen K at $10 going once. Anybody want to give me 11? We have, uh, don't think about it too hard, ladies. Very pretty piece. Kathleen, Catherine K at $10. Going twice. You guys know what's coming up. Fair warning, last call. If you want it, now's the time to get your bid in. Count for the lag. Straight on. There you go. That is very pretty. And I bet she's going to rock that with a Harley top and black leather pants. <laughs> you actually, you know what? This one would look good in a T-shirt and a Harley. <laughs> you know, got, uh, last, sure. it, it, I, I, hey, what can I say, man? I know what I'm talking about, right? What do yeah. you mean, wait, Creative Lord? I can't wait. Can you, We're gonna do, can you guys get a good picture of what Roland's, um, what Mike's dream girl is here? Oh, she's a Harley babe. Right, sitting on a Harley wearing a t shirt. Black leather pants, Harley boots, all covered in jewelry and tattoos. Yeah, my kind of woman. 
Um, Lori, is it Mexican 925? I don't think it's 925, is it? No, no, it's not 925. No, this is a really heavy necklace. If this was 925, it'd be like a thousand dollar necklace. Yeah. No. All right. Nope. It just has a really nice um, finish. It to is it. a. Um, it is a. What was the brand? She says I Chico. missed what it was. Chico's. It's a Chico. Yeah, which is a um, higher end brand. Chico's is. I, I'd accept cutoffs, uh, Cece. Yeah, I would. Uh, Treasure Vintage wants to know if it's signed. I'm not hanging on, yeah, guys. Yeah, it's signed. It does have I'm, a. Um, does have a tag on it. Right and here. Does that have an ex an extender on the back too? Yeah, it does have. This has a really long extender on it. Really long, long extender. All right, Catherine K. At ten dollars. Fair warning, the last call, guys. You all had enough time to ask your questions. But yeah, the, uh, the Chico tag is right there. Sold. Sold to Catherine K. For ten dollars. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, Catherine. Congratulations, Catherine. That you know what? That would actually look good with anything, even a black dress or a black top. It, it would really set it off. I'm just a Harley thing. I can't help it, man. I rode for many years, so. Okay, so lot twenty-three. Wait, not twenty-three. It was twenty-one. The this sterling is. silver charm bracelet. Right. Yeah. Seven and a half inches, guys. Toggle clasped. It's twenty grams of silver. You would have to get your own charms. The starting price on this, this is the last, the last, uh, the last item of the night. Um, the starting price on this was $24. So, uh, like I said, I don't know much about charm bracelets, but this one, Cindy says, you just go, you, you can buy them like this and then you buy the charms. Yeah, this you can do it either one of two ways. You can get, you know, buy like a just a regular charm with a um, jump ring and have it soldered on so you don't lose it. Or you can buy the, the charms, the new kind that they make in these days. It has a hook that you just clip it on like you would a um, key ring or something like that. Just a and little. It starts 24, like guys. Little, um, Usually like a little lobster claw or something like that on them. Twenty-four dollars for twenty grams of, of silver. That's not bad. Yep, just a little more than a dollar a gram. This is a in a double length bracelet. It has a toggle, which I like. See, I can put and it on myself with one hand. I'm not struggling with it, and it's a good size. And I, and I want to be fair to everybody too. Um, she did say, Cindy did say in the beginning, if somebody was looking for something in particular and if everybody is still up for it, she does have some other items. So if those of you that are, are wanting to buy and you're looking for something in particular, go ahead and type it in the chat and uh, maybe we can do a couple extra pieces and that, you know, and then we can call it an evening. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't want to keep everybody too long. Yeah. But you do have the good stuff. What can I say? Yeah, if there's anything anybody's looking for, just holler and I'll scare black something up. More, more black Monet. Yeah, I wish I had more of the black Monet. I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to end up putting that piece up, maybe within this year sometime. I'm not sure, but I may. Okay, guys, twenty-four dollars. No love for this, and that's okay if there's no love. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll, I can list this one easily. Yep. Okay, so that's no love on round two. Okay, no problem. All right, was well, there Maybe anything, I'll put guys? Some on it the next time and put it back in. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a chance, a couple, a couple minutes here. Uh, Cindy's email is in the description. Angie, can you pop the uh, email in the in the chat? But it is in the description, guys. And make sure that you give her your uh, real name, your YouTube name. Um, there's the email. So get this just through the email in there. Jewelry nurse one, the number one at the uh, gmail.com. And yes, it is also in the description box along with her YouTube channel link, her Etsy store, her Poshmark and her eBay. So guys go ahead and go check out the, um, go ahead and go check out the, uh, the, the, the links and check out her posh, her e Etsy and her eBay. Cause you know, there's going to be that's uh, really, 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 really special. Um, 
We have Alice is saying, I am looking for Alexis Bitar, Desert Flower Collection. Oh, no. Do you have that? Sorry, I wish I did have something there, but I will keep an eye out for that, Alice. Uh, anything else, guys? Uh, anybody, anybody looking for anything? 14 karat gold cross. With a 14 lid. karat gold cross. You still in there, Sandra? Hold on. This is what's on a it? super fine chain. What's the starting price? Um, we can start this at 15, and this is 14 karat. It's got a wow. in the middle. Starting price is at fifteen dollars, guys. This on a fourteen carat, and it's it's on a very fine chain, but the chain is also. Let me make sure this is fourteen carat, and not ten. Let me check it because I can't remember. It's been a while since I got it. Okay, so this is ten carat, um, as opposed 10 to ten carat. Well, ten carat is still uh, still a nice piece. And it has a maker's mark on it that is IK in a copyright. So it has the initials IK on it. And it is um, it is a small, you know, it is a small piece. No love, guys? No. Nope. You know what? That is a very pretty cross. Yeah, it's very detailed. It would be a great... Um, necklace to buy for a little girl for their first it does have a little tiny diamond chip in it too i believe if i remember right let me check yeah this one does it has a little tiny diamond chip right there right there oh, the I, I see it i see yeah. it yeah uh going on grumpy barbs at 15. be a great one though to start her necklace for a little girl Angie, uh, we, we added a piece. Can you just put down on the paper 10K, 10K cross? And Cindy will know what that is. And she's going to write on the bag anyway. Okay, so we have Barb at going on Grumpy at $15 going once. Anybody want to go higher than $15? We have Barb going on Grumpy. Goodbye. There's probably more than fifteen dollars worth of gold here. So goodbye. Like I said, it is a small piece, but you know, gold is like what, like twelve hundred dollars an ounce now. And, yeah. Oh yeah. We have so, going twice. And this is definitely a vintage piece too. Um, like I said, very fine chain, but it then it does have one of those little tiny spring rings soldered everything is soldered all right guys so we have barb at 15 going twice we're going to do fair warning last call this is your gift you want to get a nice little gift here and, here and there like, yep yeah all righty we're going to go so oh she got in above me rebecca did get in at 17 on my screen she's she's above my sold so we have Rebecca at 17. Man, that's the first time I've ever had that happen. Wow, she just beat it too. She did just beat it. I mean, look at that, 754, 750. That had to have been by seconds. So we have Rebecca at 17 going once. Kenita Dutton, hello. I hope I said that right. I can't wait to go have, wash my hands. They feel so cruddy. I think this is about, I wanted to show you the size of this because, like I said, it is a small cross. So with the bale, it's about seven-eighths of an inch. But it's a good size for a little girl. If you want to give her a little girl her first necklace without spending a lot of money, here you go. Yeah. You know, real right. precious metal. We have uh, Barb going on Grumpy at $18. We have My Cozy Nest, Rebecca, at uh, $20. Anybody want to go higher than $20? We have her going once. And I think that's a Brazilian emerald, but I don't, I won't swear to it, but I think that is a Brazilian emerald. All right. They we have... 
Oh, what, were you, what were you saying? I'm sorry, Brazilian what? Um, Brazilian emerald, they tend to be cloudy, and I think that is a Brazilian emerald. Cool. All right, we have uh, my cozy nest with Rebecca at $20 going twice. You know what's coming up, guys. Fair warning and last call type thing is coming up. We got Rebecca at $20 at going twice. We're going to do fair warning, last call. Here's your chance. Make a nice little gift for your little girl, granddaughter. Yeah, you know, right. and even ladies, some ladies like wearing little delicate little, little ones. Yeah, so, I would have bid on her for Mama Chelly, but she, my mom, likes a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger crosses and chains. So, so you're, you're, she does. Does she wear sterling silver? Um, uh, mostly gold. Mostly gold. Okay. I think I have a white she, gold chain cross. Will she, she wear white gold? Because if she will, I've got a little small white gold chain. Um, uh, I, I think I think mom will wear, wear white gold. But at 86 years old, all she wants is diamonds and gold. Okay. So we sold it to Rebecca for twenty dollars. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Rebecca. Michael, yeah, mom's like, you know, I'm 86. I want diamonds and gold. I want nothing left. All right, mom. I figure she, she lived her life long enough. She can have what she wants. All right, guys, one more thing, or shall we call it quits? We can do one more. We got anybody looking for some stuff for the reselling or whatever, looking for a lot or, or okay. what? Let me see what I got um, that I can lot up real quick. Um, and then we'll probably call it quits after the – after this one, guys, so everybody can go and have some nice dinner, watch some TV, enjoy the rest of Friday. Okay. Once again, I want I want to thank everybody that's that's here and everybody that came. Thank you for showing your love and support to Cindy. It means a lot to me. And uh, and you know what? Maybe we should stop. Okay. And just you, uh, end on a, we got a we got a high yeah. note here. Let's just end on yeah, a high note. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I think we had a really good night. Let me get the camera back on me so you don't have to talk to my, um, my cloth there. <laughs> but yes, I think we had a great night, Mike. We did good. Maybe we can, maybe we can do it again some other, some other day, you know, later Absolutely. down the road. Absolutely. I think we did. We had, um, we sold almost everything but the one piece. Only had one piece that yeah. fell, so we did good. Yeah, and I want to appreciate, uh, I want to say I appreciate everybody for being here. Dwayne, I appreciate you uh, showing your love, brother. Everybody's showing their love. You know, this community is uh, this community is kicking, you know, and uh, it's a good community. And right. that's the way it should, it should be. Oh, and I have to say a special thank you to Juan. I'm waving at Juan. If you're watching Juan. Juan is Rebecca's husband, and I always have to say hi to him. So, hi, Re hi, Juan. How are you? Well, hello there, Juan, and welcome. <laughs> so, and let's see, there are a lot of people I did get a chance to talk to tonight. I see Ziff came in. Hi, Ziff. How are you? Um, I appreciate everybody for coming in. Hi, Catherine Kay. I know you did some bidding, but I didn't get a chance to um, a chance to say hi. Um, but yeah, I'll see you, Catherine. Just email me. Age goodness. Right. Hello? You missed uh, Vel Velvet Sunflower. Uh, yeah, you did. You did miss it, but it it was still a good show. It's worthy to go back and watch. Um, do you, is there any last parting words you want to want to leave for the crowd? Um, nope, that's pretty much just want to thank you guys profusely. You're always so very kind to me, and I cannot say enough nice things about this community. You're just the greatest bunch of men and women, um, and I am so happy and lucky to have all of you in my life. And if I did not say hi to you tonight, um, I apologize for that. It was not intentional. Um hard to keep up with the chat and everything else going on but hi velvet i think i miss saying hi to you but i do um appreciate mike thank you for hosting me tonight um we've had it planned for quite a while and so i was very prepared for this had plenty of time to get ready 
So it was a nice experience. I appreciate it. Well, I, I appreciate you uh, letting me set this up and do it. And, uh, you know, guys, I just want to, I I, the only thing I can say on top of what Cindy said, great community, awesome people, man. You know, continue to show the love and uh, great things happen. And uh, uh, the way I'm going to end this is like I always do. You know, um, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Make sure you, if you're not subscribed, that you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to try to do more. Plus, I do another show on Saturdays, which, by the way, I want to tell you guys, make sure you're uh, there next set tomorrow for Chew the Fat, the Rolling Picker at 5 o'clock Central Time. I have a very, very special announcement. I think it's going to surprise everybody. And uh, we're, we're might, be doing a little might be doing a little special thing in there, too. Um, but, you know, remember, thumbs up. After the thing reloads, if you got a comment you want to leave, leave a comment down below. Um, any questions or comments, um, share this. If you think somebody will find it interesting on what we're doing, that's outside of the reseller community that doesn't know what we're doing, and you got a friend, let them see what's going on. Maybe give them a chance to come in and have some fun. And with that, I always want to, I always, always ask God to bless each and every one of you guys. Success, a lot of great health, great life, great family, great kids, and just prosper y'all like there's no end, like there's no tomorrow because each and every one of you guys deserves it. All right. So I am asking God to do that in Jesus name to just bless you all with much greatness and happiness. And with that said, I'm going to see you in the next uh, video, which is hopefully tomorrow. All right. So I'm going to say roll and pick her out. Night everybody. Thank you for coming. All right. Bye-bye.